two, three. Yes! Oh, Very nice. That was crispy. Man, the last three of those have been fucking fantastic. Mmm. On a roll. Awesome. Ooh, water. Water. Mm. Couldn't relate. <laughs> I'm hydrated, boys. Dude, I woke up like three times last night, and like each time I just went and got a different soda, like chugged it, and then went God, to bed. I, I bet your breath young. was awful that morning. Oh, probably. Mm -hmm. Probably. Oh, I miss that. Don't you miss that, Kurt? Well, Kurt's still, look, as he pours soda in a cup. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're giving him ideas. woke up 20 minutes ago. We're giving him ideas. <laughs> <laughs> so. Police cars and nursing homes. Heck Give me yeah. the All right, so, 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 um, uh, back whenever, like, Lucidium was a, was a thing, and we'll, we'll get to that, I guess, a little bit later. We'll do whatever we want. This is free form, baby. Hell yeah. All right, so, back whenever Lucidium was a thing, um, it was me, our drummer, our guitarist, and our bassist, and our bassist was like, yo, we should, like, go to this nursing home and take pictures, and so everybody but our drummer was, like, on board with it. So stupid drummers. Man. Yeah. No, he, he 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 was in the right this time. He was in the right. Um but so we we get into the nursing home and we're like, you know, checking things out and this had been closed down for I think like 3 years, 3 years or so. It's the one it's by I'm not yeah. mm, I'm not going to say where it is. Uh <laughs> but not not giving anybody any ideas right now. Is it still there? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's still they there. Tore it down yet? Mm. -mm. It's just all the af after what we pulled, uh, I think every exit got like boarded up. Nice. But um, so we were like looking around in there, and we said, "Hey, we should we should come back later." So we hop over to Burger King, and we meet. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we we went over to Burger King. We met I love the small town shenanigans. <laughs> We're gonna go to the Burger we King. We walked. Guys. Yeah, of course we you walked. Did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> it was that in the Mongolian spot, wasn't it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, there's a, there's a crazy Mongolian spot. Ours was a Walmart parking lot or the uh, Shell gas station. In, in in Thursday we have. That's all we had. We have Walmart and Sonic. Oh yeah. Sonic parking lots. That's where like all the the popular kids go, right? Absolutely. Go to the hop, man. Hang out. Uh -huh. I'll meet you at Sonic. So After school, Sonic Billy. Parking lot seven. <laughs> So um, we went over to Burger King and we met up with one of our friends and we were all like, yo, we should go back. And then our drummer was like, no, this is a horrible idea. And we all like didn't take anything uh, that he said seriously. And so we decided to go Hell over yeah. to the, yeah, <laughs> we, all, we decided to go over to the nursing home and, you know, we come in for a second time and we're like looking around. And the way that I explain this to everybody is that there is, the way that we are facing, there is a long hallway at the end of this hallway, there's like a little square area that's like a kitchen, like cabinet kind of thing. Sure. And then to the right, there is another long hallway. And then to the left, there's like a little alcove that leads into some other rooms. And we we get to the little alcove. We're looking around at the rooms. Our guitarist goes up to, it's a popcorn machine. There's popcorn in the machine. It is on. And he puts his hand up to the glass and he's like, dude, this is warm. We got to get out of here. And as soon as he Whoa. says that... At the end of the hallway on the right, we hear like a, and me and my, me and the bassist, we, we look down the hallway and we see like, the best way that we can describe it is like, you ever play Plants vs. Zombies? No, but I know what you're talking about. You know the way that the zombie looks? Yes. Yeah, it was like that at the end of the hallway, like the silhouette, it was weird. And so he started like coming towards us and we were like, dude, we got to do something. So we barricaded ourselves in one of the back rooms. <laughs> <laughs> and this this guy who has done some stuff that he would probably never call the police for um he calls the police and we just saw a zombie man real <laughs> come please bring help. <laughs> bring your guns <laughs> bring a priest <laughs> so we call the police and um they're like having trouble finding us and so I'm like in there like having a panic attack oh my and I've got God, my dude. I've got my flashlight on and I'm it's like the worst crime ever <laughs> real and I'm waving it out the window like please somebody see us and then finally like the because the, the police cars <laughs> keep circling around the building but they don't see us right and yeah. so <laughs> they finally like stop like middle of so I was flashing it out a window and there's a road like right outside the window. They stop like middle of the road. Like one of the guys gets out and looks at us, and then they come in. And um, yeah, they they were they were like. Was the popcorn machine still there? Yes. Oh. Yes. Thought it was like some weird 
Hoarder popcorn. Yeah, it's like it's gone now. The zombie man ate it all. He's making he's making tinsel for those Christmas trees. It's probably man. like there's just a night guard or some shit. <laughs> oh, dude, he was like outside like of the door. Hours. He was outside of the door and was like tapping on the door, like whispering stuff. Like it was weird. Whoa. Yeah. It was really weird. Good times, man. Five of y'all. Y'all should have just kicked the door open and been like Avenger style. We we thought about that, but at the same time it's like if he had a weapon. Yeah. Well, I mean, so, yeah, well, that's that true for I joined. Yeah, uh, that was that was so he joined uh Lucidium in like April. late May. late April like early May 2023. Yeah, Three? of last year. And then we played um our first Vino show was with him, and then we played mm. another Cersei show. S Town beat down. S Town beat down. Um, <laughs> shout out Current Solace, man. Those guys are awesome. <laughs> yeah, they are. Uh, shout out, shout, shout out Zash too. I, lo- I love the Cersei guys. They're they're awesome. Um, yeah, just something in the water down there. Real. It, it's been it's been weird. It's breeding recently. a bunch of like super musicians, like <laughs> small town kids that got shit to do. It's like let's let me hop on YouTube and learn an instrument real quick. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Let me be the best at this. I'm only 16 years old. And it's like, what yep. the fuck? Uh huh. Yeah, I learned I learned vocals over a span of like four years, like just doing stuff on YouTube. Was it YouTube? I was mm-hmm. gonna ask. You that. It was so. The first year yeah, that I started, the I was. y'all have versus what we have mm-hmm. is just staggering. Mm-hmm. So what would you look up? Just like. Um, I, I remember White looking Chapel. so, oh, so as far as, as far as inspirations, Whitechapel, um, man, I got, I got Dr. Pepper in my nose. Ow. Um, <laughs> should have told that ghost story. You're haunted. He's, 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 coming, he's coming after me. He's coming after me. Um, but yeah. Okay. So, um, as far as bands went, like the first band I ever listened to that made me want to get into screaming was Avenged Sevenfold. That That's scream with gate, with good afterlife, gateway. good gateway band, yeah, yeah, um, like the scream at the end of afterlife, and I was like, man, I want to learn how to do that, and so I started looking up like how to scream on YouTube, and like for the first um, like two years, like some some of you won't know what this means, but um, fry screaming, yeah, um, I tried to learn how to do fry screaming, that sucked ass, yeah. Um, because I it's would not, be able to it's not scream. The best technique. No, I would be able to scream for like a solid song, and then I'd be I'd be quits. Yeah, you're frying your vocal cords. Literally, that's yeah. So after that is when I was like, all right, I want to start getting into like false chord and like being able to do like lower stuff. Because mm-hmm. at the time I was still doing like fry screaming, and I was into like it went from Avenged Sevenfold to Kill Switch Engage to Slipknot to Impending Doom. That makes perfect oh. sense. Yeah, the, the jump from Slipknot to Impending Doom was very drastic. <laughs> I mean, you know, once you, and then you start peeking behind the curtain of the the lower, the way down there dungeon stuff, and you're like, mm-hmm. oh my god, it's treasure, it gets, it's it, treasure it got, trail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's knocking on every door to uh, find some shit you don't like. We knock, we knock did. <laughs> we did a little thing. We listened to a couple new bands on the way up here just to like kind of expand. Okay. Our, we listened to Vomit Forth. <laughs> like, what does they do? Is that just a Spotify thing or? Um, it's like it's like it, death it, metal. Are they local? It's uh, no, they're oh, like, okay. I don't know where they're from. Um, they're so on a just typed in metal music or something. And what's well, a band? I've heard of. Like, they did a song with Mugshot, and I've been listening to Mugshot okay. ever since I came here, and I saw they put out a new song with Vomit Force, and I was like, I oh, see. I want to get into them. So we listened to some of them on the way up here, and okay. then Fit for an Autopsy, which was at the hall, he right. got a record by them, and he was like, oh, I want to listen to them, and we were up here just... The entire time. <laughs> entire way up here. Yeah, dude. Fit, Fit for an Autopsy has some crazy grooves. I, I told Eli it was... Uh, it's like if Gojira was cooler. <laughs> Gojira's not cool no more. Just, just my personal take on it. I'm not, I'm not a super big Gojira fan. Um, I'm not either. It's okay. It's also because I had somebody ruin it for me. Oh well, you know it happens. Um, but yeah. So um, man, YouTube. What? Yeah, YouTube. So thank you. It's rare I remember things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, I was looking up like you know. Fry scream tutorials and stuff like that, and I actually did have somebody, um, some YouTuber that like does a lot of the tutorials. Like, I had a little like meet with him on Zoom, oh, okay. and he kind of like evaluated my stuff. And that was also when I was still doing fry scream, but um, I was also doing uh, false chord at the time. 
like starting to try and get into false chord. Sure. And I couldn't really like hold it. I could hold it for like a second, but like a it sounded like shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and B, like I would, I could not get through a full word without sounding like Cookie Monster. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> um, <laughs> should have never but, uh, changed, man. <laughs> ah, but yeah, so um. He was like, yeah, you just need to like learn how to do this, 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 and this. And then I was like, okay, fuck that. I'm just going to kind of do my own thing. So um, started practicing to like bands like Wage War because um, they're very like false chord heavy. Uh, just like in the car screaming on the way to work kind of shit. Uh, in my grandparents' bathroom. There, there's some lore there, man. Um, I, <coughs> I Shut did... up, Nana. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> I told you I'm doing my homework. It's like, it's like, are you okay in there? Yeah. Um, but I used to record like vocal covers on GarageBand. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah. And that was still whenever I was doing, <coughs> you know, fry screams and stuff like that. And um, I think I did, I did like a Spirit Box song. I did a Whitechapel song. Mm -hmm. And then you did Lorna. I did Lorna. You did, did you, Of the Abyss on the Instagram. Did, did I did Of the Abyss. Out? Did you, are these out in the wild? No. They, they, are, they will oh, never God. see the light of day. Yeah. They, Come on, man. They are buried. Let's put one at the end of this episode. <laughs> if I can find one, that do is it, so dude, funny. That would be so <laughs> sick. Um, but it was like, <laughs> it is It is the worst. I was, <laughs> I was 14. I was 14 at the time, yeah. What are you, were you 16 now? I'm 16 now, That's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, finishing up sophomore year of high school. Oh my God. What's that, 10th grade? <laughs> Yeah. 11th grade. Yeah. 10th? I'm, oh, wow. I'm going into my senior year, right? Oh, you're a senior? We're now? the same age. He's finishing up sophomore. So y'all get out of school, what, in like two weeks? Uh, I have two weeks, and then I have college finals that last week. So you're graduating? Uh, No. Oh, you're a senior? I'm going into my senior oh, I year. I see, I see. Mm -hmm. he, he takes college courses. Oh, well, rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I take them doesn't mean I'm passing yeah, them. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Um, but yeah, so fourteen year old me that got into like, like, how, how would I put this? You must have some wildly supportive parents. Very fourteen, very. screaming in Nana's bathroom. Uh, I was at your one show. They even brought your little brother. It was like ten at the time. Yeah. Oh, Wait, no, 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 it's not my Is that full moon. Was it Full Moon? That was Tristan's little brother, wasn't oh, it? Oh, Tristan's little brother. Yeah, so that was our guitarist at okay. the time. And I was like, hey, this is his favorite song. Shout out to him. It's his birthday. It like, That's what it was. Yep. It was like Call of Duty. Yeah. And, we, like, and then we, we pre Lord. proceeded to play a cover of 115. Yeah, that's a 10-year-old's favorite song? Yeah, that's cool, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lot, some of that, like... Call of Duty metal from, like, the old games and stuff. That's what kind of got me into some of that kind of stuff. Like, so weird. Avenged did a COD song... On you're not ready to die. Not ready to die. Right. Nightmare. Shepherd of Fire. Were Those so were. Ones. That's what I was messing with when I was like 13, fifth grade, walking by with my little Justin Bieber swoop. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, man. We all have it. It's all right. <laughs> it's. It's. I figured out that every boy that in middle school has a Justin Bieber swoop phase. <laughs> yeah, I never got out of mine. Yeah, yeah. You go look at a yearbook and you find one kid from fifth to Everyone's eighth grade that doesn't this. look oh, like yeah, this. What's up, man? Oh, nothing much. Oh, what's up with you? Oh, nothing much. I used to, in their hair I was about to say, constantly. I used to do like, yep. Swoop. It's one of the funnier things when you pick up on like the weird mannerisms of, <laughs> of your friends. Uh -huh. and it's always me, I touch my face a lot. I'm a face toucher. I do this. I'm always itching. I like yeah, cover, always, like, I cover my mouth like this. that. I'm always somewhere around my chin. Yeah. Like, mm, mm, interesting. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, mm, mm, mm. talk with my hands got, a lot. Got to fool them. That's what yeah. I do. <laughs> um, ADD. ADD. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we were at the Screams covers. Yeah, so I was getting into, like, Best of Metal 2022. <laughs> and the best way I can describe that was, like, so most of my favorite bands at the time, it was, like, Ice Nine Kills. Still absolutely love them. They're awesome. Um, fucking Lorna Shore yeah. put out an EP that year that, like, you know, everybody went crazy about. People um, love that damn band. They they it's put on crazy. a good-ass live show. I bet they do. They do. do Solid do. production work. I've seen, you know, clips or whatever, shorts, whatever we want to call them. Whenever they came to Litter Rock, it was, it was them, Shadow of Intent, Brand of Sacrifice, Body Snatcher, and Boundaries. 
probably one of the coolest lineups I've seen. It Dang. was it was good. Where was that? The Hall. Oh, okay. Yeah. I had a I had a really busy uh year for shows cuz that was whenever my dad started taking me to a lot of things. Cool. And so like that's Kurt's, awesome. Kurt's gonna hate me for this one. Uh, the first, the first like oh, concert God. I ever saw I think was. We all know where that's going. Nothing more, <laughs> nothing more, and Sleep Token. Yeah, sleep Token. That was Kurt's a, favorite band. I was there. He was there. Oh yeah, I you have you have a that video. Of the I think offering. it probably secretly is his favorite band. Uh-huh. He we'll comes home and we'll see a Spotify rap this year, and it'll just be like that's why he doesn't sleep post token it. number. <laughs> yeah, that's why he doesn't post it. He, he played the summoning like a hundred times. <laughs> the day it came out, <laughs> and then he immediately gets online, just like I hate sleep token. Do you like sleep token on free? That's not what I said. It's not what he said. No, some, so many people were oh. unfriending oh, you oh, over man. sleep token. Yes, they did. Comments, that was the so. The comment f- section I saw was insane. Oh, Kurt's a professional troll. He's a I know. No shit. Troll first, photographer <laughs> second. The, the amount of times that I I told uh, I'm trying to remember. I think I told Eli. Um, how how did I word it? It was like he's he's the biggest I'm fucking with you person ever uh-huh. that I've ever met. I'm fucking with you. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, he still he does it to me constantly. He did it to you as you were in here four seconds yep. ago. Yeah. Yep. He, just before we started. <laughs> no, not that one. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's always it's always something. It's always something. That's Kurt's uh, mo. We had d- he did demo pictures for us in Cersei, mm-hmm. and we were all standing on like the for- block. They need to get on a roof. <laughs> Hell yeah. oh, you got on a roof? Hell yeah, we did. That's we did. amazing. And we didn't post any of the pictures he took on the roof. Damn. <laughs> just just to make you him suffer. This, you missed, you risked risk this man's, man's life. life. I literally was like, is it worth going up here? Like, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We did it just to fuck and with you, Kurt. Christian's hair was like this the entire time. Uh, because the wind. It was, it was, it was New was that Year's. It was New Year's Eve. It was New Year's Eve. Yeah. That we had him after come up. we shot the pot or something? Yeah. You left and did a photo shoot after that? Oh, I was annihilated. I don't remember. I felt, I think I got the flu New Year's, like, after we did the photo From shoot. standing outside in the cold uh-huh. on the roof, yeah. Like, in a short sleeve shirt and, like, sweat. Trying sweats. to look cool. Yeah, trying yeah. to look all edgy and emo and stuff. Isn't and that the funniest nails. thing? Isn't that the funniest thing? Like, you would, most metal people are not as they appear. No. They're seldom this broody tough Not guy. at all. They're almost always goofy. I would have already yeah, like, like we're all a bunch we, of dumb we, got, we got proof of that. And then you go to a photo shoot, and it's like, Kurt will be like, "You're smiling." I was like, "Oh yeah." Oh shit, oh, my bad. Every time. Let me smolder. Uh, I'm yeah, smiling. Let me smolder. Yeah, yeah. Let me look like I hate like, everything. You're smiling. You're like, "Well, I'm having a good time." Well, you're not. <laughs> yeah, you're not supposed to be. It's remember, a metal band guys, come remember, on. Remember, you hate everything. Uh, <laughs> life is bad. Life sucks. <laughs> you hate yourself, and you hate everybody else. Yes. I'm yes. Like, you just played a sold out show, and the promoter told you you're not getting paid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, oh yeah, I'm I'm charging you guys like an extra two hundred dollars for this. Yeah, I'm it's not just... getting paid. I'll just grab a lighter. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking speaking of shows, we we got some cool cool shit coming up. Ooh. I'm very excited. So you're announced gonna, and release unannounced. Something? Oh, oh, we unannounced. have taking shape. Our EP is coming out in three weeks on May 18th. Yep. Wait, so by the time this releases, it'll be two weeks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Mm-hmm. How many songs? Two weeks left, guys. Five. We got five. So the the one song that we released, no discretion. Yep. And then we've got an extra four tracks. Get the track list. Yeah. We, yeah, we have where angels weep, um, faded faces. Okay. No discretion, and then the title track, taking shape, and then we have lost touch. We got Bryce um, Burrow to feature on that. Sweet. He was vocalist of hypertension features features everybody's doing features now it's so crazy features are so fun we were listening to it in the car on the way here and his his feature is awesome that's what we were playing when we rolled the window that was y'all stuff Uh okay man he he came down yesterday to record it and practice the part with us was yesterday yeah okay we got everything going diy you uh-huh. do your own recording? So our drummer has does like all the mixing, mastering, recording, and all that kind of Lucky. stuff. Dang. Mm-hmm. He's good as shit as his job. He's he's really good. Is that what he does for a living or is this just some like um 
I know every time when you're a musician now you have to have 27 jobs so it's like you can't so just be a vocalist he, he works but not for money <laughs> sure um, so his okay. dad owns the like the music store in Cersei oh cool and so that's where we practice but it's also where like you know we can get equipment and is stuff is that the one there. that's like in that downtown area mm -hmm. that Quattle Bombs we, I went there um, yeah Waddle Bomb. yo that place rules it's fucking awesome, awesome. yeah <clears throat> I spent like an hour in there waiting on that what was that so the shit the Zash Bash Mm -hmm. Sash bash, mm -hmm. yeah. When we, we, so we were playing, and I was there <laughs> mad early. <laughs> what? Uh, nothing. Oh. Anywho, um. don't say it if you can't say it. <gasps> um, <laughs> through, 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 through blood, through blood, through blood. You can't even say it. <laughs> Tongue twister, dude. Kurt, God, Kurt, blood Kurt got that out. Blood. 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 Through blood, blood. through blood bash. <laughs> Three times. Blah blah. It's gonna make everybody want to come to it because nobody can say it. Exactly. Yeah, it's me. It's gonna have to be an out. Don't do it outside. People will complain. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's not music, um, dude. Have shirt. That shirt have is shirt. so I funny. Yeah, hell yeah, I have it, dude. I told them I was like, make at least one three XL because I will buy it. They and, are they still selling those? I think they I think sold they have a couple at some shows. Banging yeah. in the Rock. I know that. I tried to go to Banging in the Rock. Yeah, it's one of my favorite pieces of merch that I own because every I time I love it see I just it, got like, this new hoodie in because they just released their new album it who is it see you space cowboy oh okay he loves that were y'all at the show no which one didn't they just come here not that long no ago? it was it was a while back it was was that a while ago now this was before see you next Tuesday. that yep see oh you next that's Tuesday. what I'm thinking yep. so see you space cowboy played last year sometime yeah. they played um, with Dying Wish and Four in Hands, two of my other like favorite bands, and that was before I even got into like metal music. Like I got into I don't know, um, you might have been into it by then. If that's who you're listening to. <laughs> well, um Ivan is like my brother in law, right? Oh like he's yeah. dating my sister. And so he that's took how that works. Well, they're I don't they're know. They're gonna get I was gonna yeah, say yeah, they're, they're, about to get they're well. looking for rings and stuff right now, I think. Oh, and so, love. <laughs> and so, can't say nothing. I've been married forever, <laughs> Almost, as long as you've been alive. That's wild. Fuck, man. Oh, <laughs> <dude. laughs> Realizing things sucks. Man. God. Ready for yeah. band pictures? Any, any time, any time that I like tell my uncle. So I love my uncle. He's awesome. He, uh, he got me into a lot of the like experimental shit that I listen to. Your uncle? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So um, I've got I've got two uncles. One of them listens to like this style of music. He's a really big fan of um, Avenged Sevenfold, like I am. Um, okay. A little bit of the heavier stuff, but um, my other uncle, who's the younger of the three, there's my dad, who's the oldest, my uncle Alex, who's second oldest, and then my uncle Sam, and um, he got me into a lot of stuff like like a, an artist called Porter Robinson. Okay. Never he, heard of it. So he makes it's 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 really weird. It's like it's like EDM, but like very like like chill EDM. Okay. Um and then just some of the other like rap artists that I listen to, but his style is very like all over the place. That's who got you in all this? Um as far as like experimental shit goes, yeah. I uh I can't remember. I know one of my buddies, it was very different. Like when we learned stuff, like y'all have YouTube, we had a magazine and you would just have to lift it. It was the same one over and over again. And then it's just like, screw it. I'll just listen to a record and see if I can't just figure out what they're doing. That's what I do now. Yeah, it, for me, it's the best way. That's why I'm, I'm, I learned, you know, basically by ear everything. So now I'm just a by ear person. Yeah. Like you can show me a tab and I'll just be like, that, that's just a foreign it language. It doesn't mean man. nothing. See, I so I also play guitar and I played drums for like a year or two before I picked up vocals. So, so you were already doing music. Yeah, no, I've been doing music for like a long time. Like whenever I was younger, I used to sing a lot, and then okay, as I grew up, it was like my dad started introducing me to bands like Nothing More, which is like one of my favorite bands of all time. Absolutely love them. I've seen them twice. They're they're awesome. Um, I think and, I've seen them. I think I've seen that band. The scorpion tail, I think it's yeah, so crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a hell of a show. They do. Yeah, he and I went and saw them the second time that they came, or not the second time that they came to Little Rock, but like the last time that they did. With like Dead Poets Society. Yeah, it was it was nothing more Dead Poet Society, Hiro the Hero. Hiro the Hero. Post Profit. Post Profit was awesome. They were awesome, man. 
Man, you all have good memories. That's wild. I, I think I know every show lineup that I've ever been to. Damn. I don't know about What's all the, that. Uh, Fifth show you ever went to. <laughs> hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Uh, the fifth show? Hold on. I'm taking. Give me a second. Give convictions. Me it was Convictions at Vino's with Bloodlines and Confessions of a Traitor. Are wow. You shows that you played? Mm. Fifth show at Vino's? Mine would have. You played the show you went to it. Mine would have had okay, been okay. some sort of stadium band. So then probably probably either August Burns Red or Lorna Shore, one of the two. Ooh, not bad. One of the first that stands out to me was uh, Riverfest back in the day when Ario Speedwagon played at Cedar. Yeah. Back, Riverfest was on both sides of the Yeah, park. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I That weird I time went to River. History. I think it was Riverfest when 311 played. Yeah, I was there. 311, 311, 311 and, Harmony. like, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Yep, Bone Thugs and Harmony. <laughs> oh, my God. What a they came to the hall I recently. Was, they did. I was, like, six at the time, yeah. and so I was, like, asleep on my stepdad's so foot. Okay, how old are you guys? <laughs> Like I'm 16. Seven, 16 and 16. 16. Wait, what? We're both 16. 17, though, right? Uh, yeah, I'll turn 17 in July. Yeah. And I turn 17 in October. No. Get out of my house. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're like, are, we're like, oh, these memories. And they're like, yeah, well, I was in my 30s. 16. I thought they were like fucking 19. <laughs> no, no, no. They're children. I have been mistaken with being like That's why there's 20 nothing or... Dr. Pepper in those cans, and that's actually Dr. Pepper, right? Eyes, right? Yes. I promise. They're they children. I know. I know. <laughs> they don't even know what that is. They don't pay attention. <laughs> Actually, this one's in like AP classes. Yeah, I take college history classes. Yeah, so 88. That, You're going to be dude. a professor? Yeah, I'm actually going to UCA to be a teacher, I think. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, well. Nice. Nailed it. So you pay nothing. Yeah. Just nah, about. Nah, it'd be fine. You'll be I'm, fine. I'm going to, uh, to school for graphic design. Oh. Ah. Yeah, so Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's just the future. We're all going to just We're make nothing. We're all going to get paid nothing Very and much. have to pay everything. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to school to learn how to type things into an AI prompt. They're going to go, well, I mean, that's kind of it. I saw one earlier that's just, I'm just like, I, I just, we're like this close to just, we're just done. It just, every time I wake up and I turn my phone on, I go, <laughs> we're almost there. <laughs> it was so. like a logo AI and it put in two words. And pooped out four <laughs> logos that were like you could use any one of these for any for anything, and it was just like, I mean, how my work here is done. We're done. <laughs> I, so. I, that's the next job will be AI, like talking to it. Like, are you Very good much. at talking to AI? AI? Therapist. There is yeah. there is some AI robot thing that like can mimic. Like human facial movement really well. Oh shit! Sure. And it's it's scary. The as video shit. stuff they're already doing. There's already a. It can just happen. There. Uh, somebody got fired. I saw for faking a voice conversation. That's what I've been messing with recently. These videos on TikTok where they like put the. Well, a, a cover for uh, a band called Lame Johnny. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad. He just he just did that. AI what just came up with hell? that. That 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 dude definitely That's looks awesome. I've seen these videos on TikTok where it's like what they the put fuck? in like they'll do like what y'all's band name again? Through blood. Through, through blood. blood, baby. I thought yeah. there was like a first word. Do through blood. Just see what that yeah. comes up with. But I've been messing with like the videos where they put in like Barack Obama or like Owen Wilson into this AI thing, and it's, they will generate the voice perfectly. perfectly. There's a and they'll be like, little, oh, like, we're playing Minecraft. There's today. a couple of like, little. What? Like little bits, it's always on the tail end of words. They mi- like it misses like the little nuancey bits of a of the way a person speaks, but that's like, oh, I'm showing them this. like that's just like a month. That's okay. Let me see this. They already record all their own. Yo, that's sick as fuck. <laughs> oh my, that's that's the, so emo, it's dude. For my that's so <laughs> it is, emo. It is. <laughs> but 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 the thing is, is he typed in two words and boom, Lo- like, it's a hundred percent usable. Stuff like that is just scary. so yeah, it's scary. It stinks. So, I've been I've been looking at this My Hands to War poster. Oh, I forgot. We got to take that down, <laughs> dude. Listen, I I absolutely. He went to, he went to the show and he texted us afterwards. He's like, "Boys, I'm crying. That's the best show I ever went to." It was it, crazy, it, dude. It was an hard. awesome show, oh, dude. It was insane. I was crying too, man. Yeah, man. There was a lot of people that were crying. I had to work that. It, it was it was so emotional, sad. man. First, it was I'm emotional. So sad I couldn't go. But I was I was like consistently like spamming them with like you guys need to go listen to this fucking band dude. I know. Sold out. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 
Speaking of posters, I got to uh, pick some up at the Rev Room for uh, uh, that Rev Room show that we're playing next month. What do Zayo? No, I wish. That would be awesome. Um, I know Zash is on there. I didn't know who else was on it. It's just Zash. Um, we're playing with a Pale Face Swiss oh, cool. and Victims. Oh, yeah. Lake. And Fox Lake. Has that been announced? Yeah, yeah it's already oh, okay. been announced. It's been out for a, a There's while. There's like three of them. We, we, we won't leak out. anything that hasn't been announced yet. Okay. I think it's like you us. Should. We want and the exclusive. Kurt, you look like a peacock. What are you doing? Yeah, what the? <laughs> uh, Bro, Johnny Tess looking. <laughs> oh my God. There's like, it's we gotta us, get that third camera working. <laughs> us and hypertension with pale face. Cool. And then current solace with Oceano. What the Come fuck, back. man? That looks more like a show flyer than an album art. Was it? Still, flyer, yeah. yeah. Go, ahead, go for gold. Nice. Oh, anyway, that show was remarkable, man. Yeah, I, I'm dude. still. We were just talking about it this morning. It's been three weeks yesterday, and I'm still like, I can't believe that that was real. It's, it it was definitely an experience for sure. Because I was I was talking to Jacob Murray like before that show, and I'm like, dude, I've never seen this band before, and he's like, it it, it changes something it's, for you. It's something. And we fucking we put it all out there, dude. I haven't felt the same since. Props to y'all, dude. That that was probably one of my favorite live sets I've ever seen. It was one of those ones where it was like. I say it's, it sounds cheesy, but it's like we're gonna leave it all on stage yeah, tonight. Yeah. And that one, we really did leave it all on stage that night. It was, I don't know, man. There's wor- there's like just not words for it. You want to say like a religious experience? I I said that multiple yeah. times, dude. It's kind of like there's not really a word to. It's like the universe just went sp- sprinkled all that magical dust all over <laughs> the, whole, the whole the whole experience, really. Because like, dude, we were setting up literally. 10 minutes before the doors open, we're really? still working on like little problem things. Hmm. They're like the lighting guy showed up and saved our ass. All those moving lights, mm-hmm. they yeah. weren't working until oh, literally shoot. 30 minutes before the doors. Mm. <laughs> like it was just like, everyone's just like having fun. Blah, 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 and like back, back room, me just fucking pulling my head. <laughs> oh, <damn it." laughs> he would be in the corner. Fucking, oh, oh, Real. It, <laughs> oh. Yeah. It gets, it gets, Ooh, cause you want it to be fucking. This has to be perfect, and then it was. Like, don't get me wrong, yeah. it was fucking incredible. We did the, the, I mean, we hung a fucking projector from a damn air vent. That was cool. Yeah, that was cool. What? They had a projector yeah, that we, was. We, we shot a mini documentary. It was like just some questions and stuff, and mm-hmm. myself and Kurt edited it together, and so it was like six minutes long, and we played that before we came out. Oh, it was really like a, cool. So people could. Because we knew there was going to be a lot of people in the room who don't don't know what the record's about. I had zero was, idea of what it was about. See exactly. So I so like, somebody, I and then no so we were like, "Well, let's do like a little mini something to like start the show that kind of sets the tone for what's about to happen." Yeah. And then we played that, and then we did the record from start to finish in order. I had the set list. It is did at you, my house. Did you get one? I did. Hell yeah. Set list. Oh, Speaking it was, of set It was list. you because I was like, where did that one go? It was Justin who gave <laughs> he it. He gave it yep, to you? Okay, yep. good. <laughs> no, dude. I am I am a giant concert collector. So any show that I go to, I come home with at least a set list. I love that. I used to do that. I still have like a bucket of kept concert items. He's got set lists that I wanted. Like when Kawanashi came by, I had to go early because I had to be home on time, right? Because we're all the way down in Cersei. And Man, I like, throw away so many. And he, I see on, I see on his story the other day, like his like collection of stickers and set lists, and there was Kawanashi. Was it signed? Mm-hmm. Of course, it's it signed. Fucking was. <laughs> oh, shithead. Anything that I get, usually I either like aim to get it signed. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah, I, 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 I used to do that shit too, man. I've got... Now I'm just like, get out. <laughs> <laughs> I get pictures. That's what I do. Pictures are cool. I do I love pictures. I got a picture with Kawanashi, and then I got a picture posted up with Ringo of Mugshot, which was awesome. Yeah. Um, any any set list that I get is usually signed or something like that. Um, Trying to remember... Oh, yeah. One of my favorite set lists that I own um, was after the Devil Wears Prada played their set. And Mike, like... That band rules. Dude, I love the Devil Wears Prada. I, I have listened to them for... I, I can't shut up about the Devil Wears Prada, okay. actually. Um, Zombie EP is one of the uh, is a masterpiece. Dude. It's a literal masterpiece. One and two are One of the awesome. best thematic EPs maybe ever. Oh, my ever. God. They're everywhere. I, I agree, yeah. <laughs> I mean, just come on, dude. Dude, it's awesome. Um, 
But the fact that that's not in a movie is. Bull, we need to make an entire movie about this. This is my pitch to the Devil Wears Prada. Make a movie I, using. That I soundtrack. always thought they should use that and shoot a short film instead of a music video and like make a zombie. <sighs> that would be so that's cool. That's the length of the record. What a, I mean, you like can still based do on it. each song, that'd be yeah, awesome. Yeah, you could still do it. You can just do it without their permission and send it to them. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's twenty twenty four. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just told the computer what to do. It shit it out. <laughs> Technically, it's not me. It's here. It's not seconds. post this. It's not illegal yet. <laughs> There's no laws. <laughs> um, no laws regarding AI. But but that band does rule. Yeah, dude. After after their set though, uh, Mike literally just like bought up a set list and like handed it to me. It was it was cool. <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I saw I saw them once. Uh, very rare. It was at this place called Juanita's. Dude, Shh. bro. Juanita's, holy shit, dude. Oh, man. Brought back a memory. Dude, Juanita's. Are you old enough to know what that is? That's I, crazy. I have heard so much from my dad. Oh, dude. Your dad used to tell you. My it. dad used to go to Juanita's all the time. Everyone did. F like, okay. One of my movie. favorite bands ever that, like, nobody knows about, Fair to Midland. Yeah. Dude. People know about Fair to Midland. I don't any, ever hear anybody talking about them. They just don't come up a lot. Exactly. They're awesome. They're good. Fair to Midland's awesome. They're one of my favorite bands ever. They're awesome. Um, my dad went and saw them though, and like the vocalist during like one of the songs, like there was just everybody was vibing except this one dude like in the back, like, and bro like started having a fucking breakdown on stage, like, just, just move, come on, man, and then like the entire rest of their set got cut because he was like having a that's breakdown. That's insane. Yeah, that person has fucking yeah. That's <laughs> a <laughs> you one guy's not having a good time and he ruins your whole night. Yeah. I say that I'm the guy that misses one drum hit, and I'm like, "Well, this show is a pile this of shit. Fuck. This is absolute trash." Never doing this Tired again. of this? Yeah, that is, crazy. yeah, that is so Christian. Is, yeah, it happens. Were you at the first Three Blood show that happened? Vino. Vino's. It was Vino. us, Open Casket, and Realms of Death. When was it? I, there's February. no way I was. It was in February oh, 23rd. Sure. Yeah. So there was. It was the first song, and we oh, we had been wow. rehearsing this for months. And we were like, all right, it's time. Let's do this. And then the intro, like, comes in. And then the point where it goes into, like, the first verse, we have, like, a pause with the guitar ring out. Motherfucker broke his sticks. No, he threw his stick. And Dude, if you, look, if you look back at the video. Um, <laughs> They're, like, replaying it like a if, fucking If you NFL. look back at the video. Awesome. Hey, Brexton. Hey, Brexton. Look. <laughs> See here? Where the fucking. <laughs> um, he hits the snare. And the entire middle to top of the of his drumstick goes flying. He, sure. He splintered his He left stick. his stick bag on the side of the stage. So he's like, shit! And he's just, and you can just hear him in the video that Kurt away. took. He's like, fuck, fuck, fuck! Runs and, he, and gets his bag and he comes back. And yeah. just, it could have been worse. There were people that were like... Right at the beginning, wasn't it? It was yes. at the right at the beginning. Yeah. There were people like, run it back, run it back! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Awesome. Man, just fucking play with your hands. Who cares? No one, no one. <laughs> I've done it. I'd, really? Oh, absolutely. Man. It's not, and then we found out that every drumstick that he had in that stupid bag was ones that his dad gave him, and they were all old. So they just kept breaking. Because we were playing. So that was our back-to-back -back nights that we like kind of debuted with. It was first night was us, Open Casket, Realms of Death. Held tight, dropped off that bill, unfortunately, last minute. Um, but we've got something coming up with them soon, so that's cool. Hell yeah. Um, Held tight rules. And crazy. Held tight. I fucking love Held tight. Oh, anyway, the Devil Wears Prada. They're, so Juanitas used to fly speakers from the ceiling. And it's it's on YouTube. You can yeah. look it up. Uh, he's headbanging and like literally like first song or some shit. Bangs his fucking face against one of the... And splits his whole shit wide open. Did he keep going? Yeah. No. No. He was immediately taken to the hospital. Had to get stitches in his face. It was fucking bad. Like, oh, it was my like, God. Oh, it was like hanging. Like the Ooh. skin was like loose, you know? And so the crowd for the rest of the show did all the piano parts with their mouth. So you can hear it still, but the guy's not there. But when you hear it, that's the audience. That's doing. so cool. Yeah, it dude. was what? Sick. one of my favorite concert moments ever. And it's on YouTube. That's so awesome, dude. Yeah, it's a good time. That August Burns Red show was crazy. It was, mm -hmm. it's, it's the one that you got right there. It's the little, yeah. the little slip. That's great. Yep. Yeah. It was a good show. Bleed from within was crazy. I, I do like bleed from within. August Burns, right? I have sh stories about them too. I worked with them at the village. And really, 
Oh yeah. Well, I worked there the whole time, so it's like you got to just work with everybody. Their drummer was definitely like underage and definitely drinking, and I was like, <laughs> "Man, we're gonna get okay, in guys. trouble, dude." <laughs> <We're so fun. coughs> well, the amount of illegal activities at a venue is kind of staggering. Allegedly. Yeah. Oh, yeah I, allegedly. I, I know some stuff about venues that I can't I like just say know. here. I think people just know. You just know. You just know. If you're in the mix, you know. Yeah. Yeah. God, we had a drug dealer. And he had a menu. It was awesome. A menu? Yeah, this is at the village. Yeah, it was laminated menu. <laughs> what? The? Yeah. He's just like, he's like, here's what I got. And it's just like, it was like a little dude. It was it's awesome. Still fold out. Sign here. <laughs> no. <laughs> but Snoop Dogg buys a lot of weed. I'll say that. Well, yeah. Anytime I've ever seen him, he's smoking something. Yeah, no, no. It's I don't insane. think he's ever been like sober. He has an employee that has a. That's all his job is to just roll joints. Can you imagine? I was about to say, imagine getting like paid just thousands of dollars, job, and you just and every time you do it, you just hand it to fucking Snoop Dogg. You're like, here hey, you go, Snoop yeah. Dogg. Thanks, baby. You dude. gotta stop con. Me, <laughs> oh man. Snoop Dogg or Snoop Lion? No, Snoop Dogg at the time. Yeah. He had he had two different names. Well, he went by Snoop Lion. He went down to Jamaica and like became a Rasta for a little bit. Interesting. Like, okay. okay. He put out a reggae album. Yeah, you can. Oh, yeah, y'all should look that up on your way home. Hell yeah. Okay. You'll need something terrible to listen to. Good. It's yeah. fucking awful, as a matter of fact. Actually, we and still I gotta love go decide where we're gonna go. With eat all my heart, I think he's fucking fantastic. That's I awesome. love his music, but man, that shit is garbage. <laughs> Bad idea. I like that he found himself and he got to experience some different shit, but maybe but just maybe, maybe. But like, minus guys who already exist. Right. Yeah. And you know, if I want to do, I mean, I feel like. Bob Marley took it away from all of them. It's just like, there's one. Dun, 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 We're going to just dun, keep dun, this dun. one forever. <laughs> <laughs> He's been dead forever. And they're just like, no, no, no. It's still just him, though. You uh-huh. can't do that. Sorry, Snoop. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I guess Sublime tried. I would say Sublime did more than try. I, guess. I mean, he died pretty soon. Yeah, they stayed popular. There's, for. Did you see his son, dude? Yeah, there's plenty of shows. That was time. wicked. So... Sublime was like a guy named Bradley Noel. They had an album. He died mm-hmm. like right then. Yeah, Sublime so, with Rome. So then they awesome. just like stayed famous forever. Mm-hmm. But now his son is doing front man, playing guitar Isn't and that singing. Rome? No. I don't know. But Rome was different. Oh, okay. Weird. It's just like he sounds just like him. It's insane. And now they're playing shows again. I'm like, what? that's cool. This yeah, is so crazy. Cool. Now they're playing shows under the name Sublime. Yes. Which is wild. <laughs> no, sub- Sublime, the cover band. Well, I mean, about as good as a fucking version of a cover band you could get. Yeah. All the original members plus the dead one's kid. Yeah. That's pretty solid. Reminds me of a Vindian. Who? Uh, so Slipknot. Corey Taylor's son band. Oh. Vindian. And. Corey hates Slipknot. Yeah, obviously. I, I'm, not, I'm not a huge fan. Uh, apparently, their new drummer is like Eloy Casagrande, from what I heard. Who's that? Sepultura. Oh. Mm. Yeah. That actually fits. That makes. They just need a hired gun. <laughs> he's more than a hired gun. Huh? He's more than a hired gun. No, I'm pretty sure he's a hired gun. They paid him money. Well, yeah, but you know. <laughs> and um, their old drummer plays with suicidal tendencies Castle. now. Is it what? Is that Castlevania? It is Castlevania. That's awesome. nice. Oh, what an eye. What an eyeball. Kurt likes to collect things. I do too. I mean, look at that old ass camera over there. Dude. Dude. I love collecting shit, dude. I have so many records. I do, and then I don't, and then I get mad at myself. You know, like I'm like, why do I have all this shit? I had to in pick up. House? I had to. <laughs> I had to pick up something that was like, you know, I could get it every once in a while to where that it wasn't like a consistent like something every other day. Vinyl. So vinyl was like the best option for me because right. records are cool. I, I have a record player. Oh, I have all my dad's records, and you know, and it's cool now because like our bands, you know, like there's a tiny yeah. bands vinyl, like that's crazy. Yeah, and ours are on the way. Hooray! Awesome. Nice. Oh, for my hands war. Mm-hmm. Yeah. J- Justin, uh, I talked to Justin the other week. He he owes me a bumper sticker. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't even know we made those. He just did that. Yeah, and yeah. then I, he he posted something on his story, and I was like, I need one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Justin had bumper stickers made and just didn't say anything. Yeah. It's like it's like my car is stuck in a parallel dimension or something, something like that. Something like that. It's like a Ursula Kingdom reference. Yeah. See, I'll talk about my hands to war, and I haven't listened to the new record yet. So I'm like, oh man, the new record rules. It's I'll even so say it. Good. It's so good. I need to listen to it. 
It took too through. long to not be good. I'd be so mad if Dude, it turned out shit. Then shitty. it took like seven or eight years. Seven. Seven years to write, craft, and then two years to record and mix and, man, and like get it out. Just like, because of the like the the emotion that came with the album. <sighs> a lot of it, yeah. And it's just hard being in that band. Yeah. Is that why Shinfo exists? Yes. I figured. It's exactly why. That's You're brilliant. That's a good, you Let's picked go. up on that. That's it. It started when that band took a hiatus the first time because me and Justin, when we're together mm -hmm. on that side of the table, like when he's drumming and I'm playing guitar, that's just what comes out. Yeah. When we have Lame Johnny, it, like I already had was in Lame Johnny. Mm -hmm. That that one morphed like crazy. That band's been five different things. Isn't there a band in the local scene? I don't remember what the name of the band is, but it's got the guitars for Norma Jean. It's Claw Marks American. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. America. They play Philly. Philly. Yeah, Philly. Yeah. Shout out to Philly. Shout out to Philly. We love Philly. Uh, if you're listening, Philly has been on the Crash Gas podcast. Yes, yeah, so I've Go seen back that episode. And, yeah, it's great. He's awesome. We're going to be partying with Norma Jean in Wichita, Kansas, what, next nice. week? Dude, that's awesome. We're going to have fun. Uh, what What's the name? Wichita or something? Uh, Temple Live. Wichita. Tem Temple Live. Do you, do you guys need, a, need an extra CD to go over there at some point? Absolutely. Hell yeah. Or a sticker we can put wherever. I mean, it doesn't matter. We, we, Everything in this room is supposed this to, like... This dipshit forgot the stickers. What a stupid... Nah! Oh. You know what? Go wait in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a garage. Garage. I'm going to go wait in my car. There's a couch. To be fair, there's a really nice couch in that Yeah, room. I was about to say, <laughs> dude. Yeah, I'll yeah. Look down the way here. Dude, like, you'll be asleep in minutes. That thing will suck you into fucking... We'll hear him snoring just, like, from over here. Literally, you, just, <laughs> you might hear him snoring. Me, 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 pick me, Kurt, me. pick Kurt up like a baby, and me, me, take me, him out there. <laughs> it's okay, Kurt. That bed's carry him to bed. <laughs> that bed, that couch, dude. It is deceptive. That thing. Really? You sit in that thing, and you you immediately just like oh, and your eyes just get heavy. It's like it's filled with sleep potions. It's a, it's a magic. It's a magic couch. It is for sleeping. You're sleeping. There he is. He came out of his shell. What, Kurt? Dude, I slept on the couch I'm last night. He's got the studded belt on. Oh, I do. Ivan gave me this belt. Like, studded, like, so, like, topic <sighs> belt. We were over at Xander's house, and it was like, oh, oh, oh. Dang. That's so crazy, <laughs> dude. Crazy, do y'all have a Xander? I actually have a friend named Xander <laughs> that I go to school with. He, yeah. he, he called us on the way yeah, over he here. Like, hey. Uh, he Wait, are you in Cersei? And I was like, no, I'm in Little Rock. I got something to do. And he's like, Oh, uh, will you be back in town? <laughs> and I'm like, maybe around like eight or nine. He's like, okay. I'll be in the woods smoking cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Hating with my mother. Yeah, speaking yeah. of speaking Sorry, of, Xander. He's probably a very nice person. <laughs> I, I love Xander to death. Speaking yeah. of um, illegal. I'm just immediately shitting on this man. I'm so sorry, Xander. <laughs> speaking of substances, um, I got offered shrooms at a Polyphia show. It happens. Dude, yeah. dude, I'm telling you. It used I, to be a lot more frequent, to be honest. Really? It, I've never oh, yeah. been offered any kind of, like, hard or just any drug at a show. Most of it's like, it would hit my vape. Yeah, yeah. well, I mean, you know, digital cigarettes are what y'all's all about. Our degeneration yeah. is, like... I feel like y'all are probably going back to smoking, though, right? Is vapes I've not never cool? smoked. No, 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 not oh. y'all. I'm not saying, like... Uh, <laughs> I'm saying there like are a lot generation. of people that do, like... They're like, vapes are lame. We're just smoking regular cigs. Actually, no. Um, I'll pull up to Sonic, and they'll be like... Just vape clouds everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. <sighs> What's Man, yours? like a freaking... Mocha latte. <laughs> I love cotton, so, cotton, cotton, cotton candy. candy. There's Unicorns someone I know... For real. Yeah. There's someone I know yeah. that has one that's literally just fucking fab. That's what it's fucking called. Fucking fab. Of that's what it's it called. And it's like cotton candy. I'm yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, you gotta name it something ridiculous. Cucumber-infused yeah. mango juice. Yeah, yeah. We call this one... Princess. Why? <laughs> it makes your head sparkle. What? You will see stars for yeah, about yeah. a good 20 minutes. Ah, oh, drugs. Don't do them, kids. Okay? Listen to me. Don't. <laughs> drugs. Did you get that? Your parents are going to listen to this, and I'm going to get in a lot. I'm going to get in real big trouble. It's okay. It's okay. Y'all yeah. seem. They don't care. Well, the, uh, <laughs> are cool, right? I'm just arrested in the next scene. Like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time, right? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Spill. We need to know. It's fine. I'll tell you off camera. 
Yeah. Awesome sauce. Have I? Okay, good. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. I was not involved. I was involved, but I was not involved. Yeah. I was there. I was paid yeah. to be there. And then a thing happened. People like you almost got me fucking arrested. <laughs> I hate kids. So um, <laughs> a couple weeks back, I hydroplaned <laughs> off of Damn, exit you got to calm down. You're not well, I, was, I was slowing down. You go so fast. Shut up. I believe it. I was, I was <laughs> Look slowing at his down. To go, oh, I just <laughs> yeah. put the sunroof down. Like, uh-huh. <laughs> but I was slowing down going off the exit ramp. And I. it was like. Where were you? Cersei exit ramp or? Exit 16 okay. going into Cabot. And so it's like this really like sharp corner. Yes. And so we spin around. It was, I was taking my girlfriend to her mom, right? Because yeah. that's was like kind of a meeting spot. And so we spun around, ended up in a ditch. And there were these two dudes here that came by and they were like, Y'all need some help? Yeah. Uh, no, I think we got it. I'm still standing were there. Were you in a car foot. or a truck? A uh, car. My okay. little Honda Civic out there. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's weird because Dude, me and her damage? were fine. You just kind of slid off into the No beach. damage to the car. That's nice. Nothing was like lost or anything. Were you scared? My foot was tapping like a rabbit. Really? I was out there. I was like, <sighs> I'm sorry, Cindy. You almost killed us. I don't remember her name. But... <laughs> that was an awkward. It's okay. Two second drive. Been a few wrecks. Yeah, yeah wrecks are scary. So Cersei's, they really are. Cersei's pretty strange. I love, I love it. I don't know. I, don't, I probably don't, but I've only been to that little weird downtown area. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's nice, man. Y'all got like, it's a vibe. It's not like you come down here and it's like there's nothing. It's that contemporary isn't. Christian white people vibe. Yeah, it's, it's very, like really... but it's all like mom and pops. There's no yes, like, there's very. no like. Uh, Corporations that you can even see with your eye. You can even go to that burrito joint. And you're like burrito day. Bur- that's it. Burrito we, day. we we ate I over think there. Everyone with... there does. It's like burrito day. Um, what else do all the churchgoers go to? Like McAllisters. McAllisters. <sighs> McAllisters. Everybody goes to Slim Chickens after church, or one of like the ten Mexican restaurants that oh are in Cersei. Well, we I have mean, so many. You should. Every town should. We. But like for the size of Cersei, we should have like two, maybe three. Yeah, it's there's like ten, some trucks. and they're all in the same stretch of road. Of course, right, right, yeah. it's it's they're all on Ray Street. And that cool little, uh, I want to go there just to go to the movies at y'all's little movie. Theater. Oh, the Rialto. Yeah, the Rialto's awesome. Yeah, it looks sick. It's really cool. So there's a dude in Cersei that like uh, Jacob Osborne, right? He, he doesn't live in Cersei anymore. Does he not? No. Oh, anyway, Jonesboro. Well, they he like made Ugh, his yeah. own movie. And, like, they debuted it at the Rialto. They let him, like, rent out the theater, and they played the... That's awesome. Like, little hour and a half See, movie. It had Jackson I mean, and Zasht. It had Zashed. Zashed in it too, you, can, yeah. you, can, you can do that, I think, at any movie theater, but that's awesome that it was in a movie theater like that. Yeah. I would love to make a movie. It's very old school. Yes. Very, very, like... Even the front's, like, marquee style. Mm-hmm. With the big, it's got the golden the poles. Tall. Yeah. And, like, the red carpeting. And, it's cool, man. Yeah, it's, it's really See, cool. it's neat down there. It's just uh, we're stuck in time, dude. Yeah, like I could said, I could see as being like just hit like as a young kid, I could see being like this fucking blows, man. I want to go like do shit. There's nothing to do yeah. there. No, there's there's not. nothing. You got that movie theater, and that's about go to the music store. For we used to have an time. axe throwing place, and that got shut down. That yeah, was cool. Does. I went like one. The axe throwing place was awesome. He's like, it was, was great. I went a uh, time. Well, there's a reason it. Shut I went down. like three or four. <laughs> there was axes, and there were like ninja stars. Now that's cool. The Ninja Stars cool. were dope, they dude. They were awesome. I'd be like, how many can I throw at once? <laughs> I'd get like four lined up like this. One will go backwards and like hit your friend. That's the scary part. Oh, oh, somebody yeah. fucks up the axe throw. And they're like... Reminds me of... Uh, you watch South Park? Oh, I mean, a hundred years ago. There's that one episode of South Park where Buddy just gets a Ninja Star in his eye. And oh, they, And yeah, they dress well, him up as a dog and like yeah, take him to the vet. That's one of their most like popular... It's so funny. That that That's probably one of their better... Uh, the new stuff I just can't. No, none of the new stuff, but most of the I older in years. Most of the older stuff is pretty funny. It's fine. There's better stuff out now. Agreed. I think they're just on that. They're like what the Simpsons are. They're just this it's just running to be running where it's just on. Yeah. Uh, Simpsons is the longest running show now. It I, is. I did find that out. Mm-hmm. It, it overtook what was it, Gunsmoke or Bonanza? Really? Like, oh yeah. Weird. It's like 36 years. It's fucking t- Kurt. What are you doing? Okay. You look. Kurt, look at me. <laughs> okay. Sorry. His eyes looked bloodshot from here. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh. So, what's y'all's next show? What do y'all got coming up? 
All right, so we got uh, we got Pale Face at the Rev Room, and that's is that the next show? That's the next oh, show. Okay, our third show ever is at the Rev Room. Nice. Yeah, um, good for you. So we got it's us, Hypertension, Fox Lake, Victims, and Pale Face. The day after, we're hitting up Memphis. Nice. And heavy hitter. Heavy hitter from Florida. And then Aversive Control. At Growlers, High Tone? Uh, Fort, Fort Doug. Doug. It, it's, a, it's a house show. Oh. It's like, it's like 50, 60 people max. But the like, best, man. Dude. It, house shows are so fun. It sounds like it's going to be fun. Yeah. Um, but it's us, Fubar, which is fucked up beyond all recognition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, um, Aversive Control and then Heavy Hitter from Florida. And then the third night, it's really weird that all three of these shows just lined up simultaneously. And so we just decided to make a little trip out of it. Oh, yeah. But um, the third night we're playing with, it's us, uh, First to Burn on their second show, second I believe. Show. And Death Rattle and yeah. Beyond Reach. For their little run. And it's, they're, they're starting at Vino's and then like hitting up Texas. So where is y'all show at? Vino's. Vino. Oh, that's at Vino's. Yeah, so first night's Rev Room, second night's and Memphis. that's in July? May. <laughs> May. So it's May 23rd, 24th, and 25th. Oh, Okay. And then, and then we got zashed on yeah. their run with a kiss before dying. This has been announced. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Cool. I was about to say I know it has, but I want to double, triple, <laughs> quadruple check. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to step on anybody's yeah. release oh. toes. Yeah. Kurt does all the time. He'll leak his own shit. <laughs> He's the only reason the Lame Johnny record is even out. Really? Yeah. But we we're, were never gonna do it. I don't. Think. It's like eight days, and they're coming to Vino's, and it's like us. Dry fire. Dry fire. Uh, held tight. It's held tight. That's plus uh, dryer fire. Held tight. A kiss before dying and then zashed. Mm -hmm. Damn. On a Friday night. And then another it's good one. It's gonna be a good Friday. That'll, that'll be a nice one. Another one that has not. What you say? I was gonna say it's not. <laughs> has it not been announced? Not no. Been announced. The one that we just talked about has been announced. We've got another one coming up that hasn't been announced yet. And then yeah, don't say that. One in July that hasn't been announced. July is coming. Oh up. yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah! Shit. He'll, he'll book a no, show, no. <laughs> and then he'll be like, "That one was booked by you." <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm <laughs> idiot. <laughs> With the finger, EP classes my ass, dude. <laughs> I'm on to you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but um, it'll be like, "Hey, I got a show book with da da da." Uh, of course, like this week, and I'll be like. He'll be like, you want to do it? And I'll be like, what the fuck? How Listen, do you know this person? I was in a band with my wife, and she was like that. She wouldn't ask. If we all had the date free, she would just be like, "We're playing this show," and I'm like, "Oh no, I usually like." You have to understand, like people have schedules. People have lives. But we would play, but this. we would play a thousand shows. It was great. I love. She no, really every every time that I hit him up, I'm like, "Hey, is everybody free?" And then like one person will respond, and I'll be like, "Okay, I'm putting us out." Yes, well, that's <laughs> that's gonna be forever. Yeah, it'll it'll be like me. I'll be like, "Hey, I'm going to like Georgia." He's cause... skipping two trips. Yeah, so that's I was gonna go to New York. Wow. For a whole week with the school because they were putting it on, and then Paleface got announced, and I was like, Fuck "New style. York, I'm playing with Paleface," <laughs> because and so then Heavy Hitter got booked, and I was like, "Okay, fuck New York, I'm getting my refund." Yeah, and then I have another trip coming up where we're going to Savannah, Georgia, with the school, and then um, what's in Savannah, Georgia? The Zash show. No. It's not Savannah, that. Georgia. No, I'm saying like <laughs> it's a school trip. It's a national yeah, yeah. convention beta. Oh, you do like it's like quite like a, is it like a question thing? Like on a panel, are you like headbutting? It's like a tournament. Tournament. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, it's all Shit. sorts of stuff. I don't even know why I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. Like I have no idea. They just smart, put me down. Smart kids stuff. Us dummy, Nothing I would know. Us about. dummies would understand. I, I barely graduated. Kurt didn't. I'm doing. No, he did. I'm doing all right. We're, we're doing good Kurt, with what we Kurt can. Kurt was probably in AP classes. This fucking guy. Dude, if I don't have to take an oh, honors or an AP is. class, I'm not going to, because I don't just want to put that like extra stress on myself. You, you know, how often do y'all get to practice? Once a month. Once a month. Once every once every like two weeks two, usually. Weeks. Oh lord. Yeah. So tell me. So the the fact that we can like you know like play shows and it sounds all right like it's it's, it's cool. It's weird because he'll be like, hey guys, do y'all like, just live in different towns? I live in Little Rock. He's in Little Rock. It's everybody else was in it's, it's my fault. fault. But every everybody else who has an instrument can practice when I'm not there. That's actually very true, and we do that a lot. Y'all should really start doing that. We, well, because he can get tight to the radio. Y'all can't. Yeah, and it's like, oh, basis has to work. I'm well, out of town. Yeah, right? Like, like we all like, have jobs, jobs yeah. and then school. <clears throat> I just work Thursdays and Fridays, guys. 
Yeah, and they have they me have on, still letter up for those. They have me in schedule for like every day this coming up week. Do you work at Burrito Day too? I work at McAllister's. Oh, okay. <laughs> not anymore. I was like, yeah, not anymore. God. <laughs> he told his manager to go fuck himself last night. Yes. Alleg allegedly. Allegedly. That's what's up, dude. He works at McAllister's. So you will be working at Burrito Day soon. <laughs> we allegedly. we talked we talked to him about that yesterday. Listen, this because there's no out, reason he shouldn't work there. This doesn't there. come out for a whole week. You'll know whether you have a job or not. <laughs> yeah. Like I'll go into work tomorrow and they'll be like, we'll add a comment. It's like he did not get fired. Fired. He got fired. <laughs> Put it in the liner notes. Just uh, update. Yeah. <laughs> Elias <Joplin. laughs> Um Now currently works at Burrito Day. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do constant updates. Eli got fired from Burrito Day. So we um, like okay. So personally, like for like jobs and stuff, because I only work Thursdays and Fridays. I had to do that for a bit because I was in like school play, and we were doing like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday practices, and then I'm like, you know, fuck it, dude. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna get money. What play was it? Uh, Mr. Roberts, and the only thing you guys need to know about that is it's extremely misogynistic. Interesting. Old. It's also about, yeah, it's, it's like World War II, like okay. sailors who haven't seen a woman in like two Mr. years. Mr. Roberts, I never even heard of that one. Yeah. We did like regular stuff. We did know. Dracula last year. That's cool. That was that was fire. That's fun. I was in theater once. Are you in theater still? Mm-hmm. Probably not going to do it next year. But. Why not? Uh, I don't know. It's lame now, dude. Because you, you wouldn't I'm understand. I'm singer man. in a band. I can't be seen with these. I actually yeah, started yeah. doing. Yeah. I, I started doing drama to help my stage presence. Actually, smart. Absolutely. So like, I I got used to crowds, and yeah. we um, we did we did five shows. We went two days extra that we weren't supposed to do. Um, because it was doing so well. Because of family, like people who had family that was out of town and couldn't make it for the Friday, Saturday, Sunday show. We did Thursday through Monday. Dang. Yeah. So. Did you mess up? Be honest. I think I did once or twice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like I slipped up I on a line. I remember all I stuff, said man. I said son of a bitch a lot in that play. And it's funny because I go to Catholic High. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. And you're a screamer, man. It's, it's all coming together. We're seeing the. <laughs> the bigger picture. It's weird because everyone in the band is like. Like our drummer goes to, um, a you'll school. be touring soon. And national yeah. stages. He goes yeah. to a school where he's in dude. like I don't need to be there. polo jeans, and he goes to a Catholic high, and then I just go to like we wear suit or we don't wear suits and ties, but we wear button ups and ties, with yeah, khaki yeah. pants and ties and stuff like that. And I go to a little like nobody knows where it is town Dangbird school. It's a school. Mm -hmm. There's it's a like school a private there. school. No, it's not a private school. It's a public school. It's just that small. What's your it's class? Awful. It's like, like forty people. Whoa. Yeah, like 40, 60 people. That's tiny. I could probably name off everyone yeah. off the top of my head. That's how That's small it wild. is. That's wild. It's it insane. Now. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're waiting. Uh, Listen, Jer the pressure's. Uh, Jerry. Yeah. Um, Addison. I would just say. I would just say sixty names. Yeah. Done. Give me last names. Go. <laughs> Jerry Bartholomew. Uh, last names are are weird, man. Like anybody who has a first name that or a last name that should be a first name. Like Smith. Yeah, Smith. John Smith. John Smith. Smith Smith. Or like anybody who has the name like Daniel as their last name. As their oh yeah, they're Daniels. Daniels yeah. or Daniel or. I know somebody named Max Hanna. Whoa. What? Yeah, it's That's weird. Crazy. We're just name dropping everybody now. Hell. Hi, Max Anna. Hey, Max. <laughs> I don't think he you're actually me. still in school though. So that's like that's that is weird. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. God, that's crazy. Yeah. Tenth grade. God, y'all are good kids, man. Thank you. Good for you. No. I was so much worse than you. <laughs> <laughs> so so much worse. I never I never forget the pink lemonade that you got got me. Thank oh you. yeah. Thank you. What? This Always, man got me man. a free pink lemonade. I got you. Where's mine? <laughs> uh, it's at Vino's. It's at Vino's. Uh, I don't know if they're open yet or not. Yeah, they're open. Yeah, what time is it? It's away. probably like 1 o'clock. Yeah. Nice. I'll walk in the back room and turn the key on for you. Do, 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 do. I don't know if you know this, but I can get free sodas when I want. Well. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. No, no, no. It's, kinda, it's called a perk. I believe it's perk. <laughs> they call that when you work Part at a place where it rains inside when it rains outside. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, dude, I have a video on my phone. Remind me after this is over to show okay. it to you. It is unbelievable how oh bad it has gotten. Really? Really? It was it was literally pouring rain in the building. Literally. Like, it filled up all those buckets 
<laughs> oh my god, dude. It's, so, it's sad just to even talk about it. It's so fucked. But all of them within within minutes they were full again and had to be dumped out twice. It was like nuts. Speaking of Vinos, there was a, a friend of mine went to a show there last night. I don't know if you were working. I was. It was the Tim dude from Lost Boys. Yes. He was playing the saxophone. He nailed he killed it. That was so cool. He slayed it. So cool. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be honestly, I was like, this is about to be lame as shit. Dude. It was so cool. He is a he is a performer. He's a badass. Yes. Negative approach. First to burn. Negative approach. <laughs> Negative dude. So Bryce came down last night and he was putting up flyers for the show Cersei. around Cersei. And he was just like Is that the one y'all are on? Mm -mm. Oh, this that's, is the third. It's just like up? Uh, it was first to burn this threat. weekend, mm -hmm. this okay. Friday. Yeah, it's this Friday. It's um, it's my birthday. The other band yeah. that Bryce yeah. is in called Threat. They're straight edge. Um, and yeah, threat. I know threat. Yeah, so it's threat, first to burn, peach blush, and negative approach. And first to burn is Tommy and Dolph. somebody from Terminal Nation. Uh, uh, Chase. Chase, that's it. Mm -hmm. Chase, my mom. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I need to say this, but um, open casket. Damn, what a show! Oh yeah. Um, Who's a member of Open Casket? Was oh, a member of Open Caskets in the first to burn. Oh, that's their first show. Weird. It's gonna be cool. My mom was telling me one day that um, she knew one of the dudes from Terminal Nation. She went to school with them. Oh, really? Uh -huh. I was like, probably works with them. I think they all work in like a medical field or they're barbers. I was about to say, my mom went to barber school. Dogtown there Barbershop. Go, yeah. Yeah. She was like, "Hey, do you know this guy?" And she and she pulls up like Terminal Nation's page, and I was like, "That's crazy." Yes, Mama, I do know them. I know them. Because you're a good boy at home, right? Right? Yes. You're not a bad child. Yes. Yeah. I am an angel. Just comply. You your clothes Just the car comply. all the way over. Yeah, I was wearing a, a <laughs> button up. and a button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jorts on the Steal way up my here. Style. Yeah, I'm not even going to tell my parents I was here, to be honest. <laughs> they think I'm at um, church right now. They, they have no idea where I'm oh, at. I'm actually, I actually yeah. snuck out. Could you imagine we get in trouble because they were supposed to be in church, Kurt? <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, that's pretty good. I haven't been in trouble in a while. I haven't been in trouble in a while. I need somebody to come at me. I need a fix, baby. I, <laughs> I did have my neighbor yell at me the other day. That was kind of like, that kind of like flooded. Stop! What happened? We were shooting guns and Hell yeah. they didn't like it. And I was like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. Well, we live in the woods for a reason, dude. Yeah. Mod. Grandma lives out in the freaking boonies. Hell oh, yeah. Really, <laughs> really, you go to school in the boonies. Everything I do is in the boonies. Yeah, and Cersei's so, still like small town. Like you, you walk Cersei's three small feet, town, you're in the but then you go up to where I go to school and it's like one place to eat yeah. and a gas station. I was going to say it's the place to eat in the gas station. It's actually a Dollar General. <laughs> it's, no, like we, like we have a Dollar General, a gas station, and a pizza joint. Nice. And a post office. Pizza joint? Is it that hunks, hunks, whatever no. the guy with the you know the muscle? Uh -oh. No, that's funny. <laughs> what? Yeah, Weird. he's in on like half the gas stations. Come on. Oh, oh. oh okay. God, I forget. <laughs> Internet. How do we feel about it? Internet. Are y'all good at it? Bad at it? Oh no, I'm, I'm fucking horrible at it. Okay, good. I'm I'm pretty decent with it, but that's also because I've spent like half of my life on a computer. So I would say, yeah, yeah. Well, Half the I, time, I feel like y'all have all spent your whole life on a computer. Half the time, I go to make a post on our social well, media. I'm like, "Hey, typed up the caption for me. I don't know what to say." I type up most of the captions. What year were post. you born? 2007. Fucking hell! So I was gonna say, so you, so you don't know a world without like iPhones and and smartphones, like where they're flat on the screen. Well, I I grew up like without like technology for the first like. <laughs> eight years of my life okay i actually right. grew up in a house with my well i say i grew up in a house with my grandparents no i did grow up in a house with my grandparents for like until i was like six maybe yeah um it was kind of back and forth between like my mom's place and my grandparents sure but um they had a landline that they cut off like three years ago maybe and so i grew up with <laughs> they the, had it up to three the, years ago the brick <laughs> on the wall oh yeah Brrr, like dude it hell yeah Kevin, get off the phone <laughs> It's I'm trying to download the recipe. I'm trying to download the recipe off Firefox. <laughs> dude, search engines, search engines are crazy, nope. dude. Internet Explorer. Oh yeah. Internet much Explorer. Worse. Much worse. I used to play. My grandma has this like old like I don't even know some kind of PC, and I used to play like Minesweeper on it. Just uh, I was bored out of my awesome. mind. Minesweeper is great. 
I passed a lot of hours with Minesweeper mm-hmm. up at Grandma's house. No AC on. It's fucking August in Dallas. The, we had- Sweating. Just, oh, no. Start over. <laughs> Still don't know how to play that game. I don't know either, to be honest with you. I just kind of clicked random just squares. Like it, yeah. uh-huh. <laughs> so, oh God. I spent, like, speaking of, like, you know, video games and grandparents' houses, uh, during quarantine, oh, I I think I accumulated, like, at least over 200 hours on Skyrim. I don't know if that's a lot or not. That's a lot. Is that a lot? Huh? It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Especially for a kid who was in sixth grade at the time. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dude. Sixth grade. 2020, right? Yeah, 2020. 2020. April, it's like I was in eighth grade. April what? of 2020. Oh, man. I was working trying not to die. <laughs> where my rent's going to come from. <laughs> man. We, so whenever quarantine happened, we all just kind of fled. Like, my, my family, like, fled to our grandparents' house. They live in Heber. Heber? Yeah. Okay. So we we live out in the country. Because oh, school was canceled. Mm-hmm. And it's like, it's only going to be two weeks, hold, guys. Hold on, Kurt. You got to talk. Sorry, y'all. Are no, you good? I take blood pressure medication because I'm an old man. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm fat. <laughs> getting the switch. We're getting the switch. We're getting the best of both worlds right now. Real. I never think we'd be we'd be interviewed by by Kurt himself. I have you saved in my phone as Kurt Cobain, but it's with a K instead of a C. You want me to pick that up for you? Like Cobain also has a K. I don't understand. Like instead My name of, is with a K. S- instead of C-O-B-A-I-N, it's K-O-B-A-I-N. Okay, that's what I was asking. Yeah. yeah. How are you guys today? Pretty good, actually. Yeah? Yeah. I'm, I'm all right. Chilling? Yeah. Not chilling. I had, like, this and a Red Bull of caffeine, so I'm over here, like... Chilling? Chilling. <laughs> you said you were hot earlier. You took off your hoodie. Mm-hmm. And then you put the beanie back on. Mm-hmm. And now we're chilling. How do you guys feel about the game Fallout? I never played it, actually. Uh, the game's awesome. The series is awesome. Did you watch the show? I did. It was awesome. It was one great. of you did, one of you didn't. Are you the same person, just opposite? Yes. Yeah, honestly, yeah. We are We are on the same brainwave half the time. So one of you is 16 and the other one is 61? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's me. I'm, I'm 61. The old soul. What do you listen to besides death metal? Like, what are, what are some influences that... What are some influences that people would be like, oh. That they would be able to take away from our music? No, no, no. Like, what are things that Uh, influence your music but that aren't in the same genre or realm as your music? Country music. Don't put the camera on me. Um, I like like a lot of, like, soft pop, so. Soft pop? What the fuck is soft pop? I need need an explanation. Even your own bandmate is like, what the fuck is that? What is that? any like pop music Sorry, that's like a little bit like more mellow. So like Billy Eilish. Yes. Not, yes. I got okay. onto him this morning for it. For what? <laughs> Billy Eilish. <laughs> you can listen to whatever the fuck he wants. Hell man. yeah. I got onto him this morning for it. That was awesome. I like I like Billy Eilish. Billy Eilish is cool. He gets in the car. He's like, you're in trouble, Mister. <laughs> my, my, I caught you listening my to boy, Billy Eilish this morning. You're my grounded. boy by Billy Eilish slaps. Agreed. So what what are some other examples of what soft pop is what you said? Uh, like Louis Capaldi, like his earlier stuff. Um, it's one of the ugliest motherfuckers I've ever seen. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, no, he- heavenly or was it divinely spi- inspired to a hellish extent? I really like that album. It's good. Um, Say that ten times fast. He's got a steel trap memory. Me? He does. Yeah, he does. It's because he's twelve. Yeah, that's true. He hasn't had a lot of memories to fuddle up. All how many? Yeah. How many Dr. Peppers? I'm almost a teenager. How many Dr. Peppers do you think you had within the past year? Let's see, three a day. <laughs> three a day. Three per hour. I, mm, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Oh, that oh. many? This, huh? this is too many. Too many. That's too many. that's the answer. So he did the actual math. Mom, like, damn, I'm just playing it myself. He, he's always the one that's not putting the garbage away. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, he's like, how'd you know? Oh, it's because we know. Because <laughs> we were young. I was about to say, y'all <laughs> been us. You're through, you're through blood. We have to know. Yeah. To be okay. Nardwar. Okay. God. I met Nardwar twice. Dude, dude, loot, dude. He's so nice. He he's, seems like it. He's just as awkward the, the, a person. The shit that he knows about people is crazy, though. I yeah, I shared an elevator with him, and he was like, "Hi, Kurt." I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what? I was just hell? joking. I did share an elevator with him once, but, but that's, he didn't that's know cool. who the fuck I was. That's cool. <laughs> I, I would kill to be Nardwar. 
I would too. I just, I'd want to know what he has to say. I'd fucking, I'd go to the fucking Juggalo gathering to meet Nardwar. Oh. But, but I would actually just go there just to go, nobody should. Your shirt's pretty cool. My shirt? I like Better Lovers. Better Lovers is awesome. They, I do not. Yes, they are. I don't like Better Lovers. Man, you best get your He can get the hell out of here, here dude. right that's now. Three, that's strike three. That's strike like. three, dude. Okay, what were the other two? I don't know, but that's strike three. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you can't tour. just say that you don't like bands. And then don't give a reason. You gotta. Ha- oh, is it? Is I, it the vocalist? Yep. Yep. No. That's, really? that's a lot of people's killer. Dude, I yeah. love like Better Lovers. Craig. Yeah. It's like they're on tour right now. Yes, they like are. Born Hand and Sea Space Cowboy. Sea Space Cowboy. Yeah. And Gray Heaven right now. And I almost went to the St. Louis. Oh yeah, sorry. No, I almost went to the St. Louis show. Right, like I was about to buy my ticket, and I was like, maybe I should listen to the headliner before. And so I pulled up like their newest song. I think. The flowering. Okay. It's awesome. That's awesome. That video is so fucking sick. But I got like 30 seconds into it, and I'm like, I can't do this anymore. I get it. Hey, teach their own. But like, Foreign Hands has the same kind of thing. If you liked all the other bands, their live show is unhinged. Is it it good live? And you would appreciate them live for sure. Because there's a lot of bands that I like. Because live, you can move. You can Kalanashi. Well, live, you can forget. (laughs) Well, live, you can kind of forget about things going on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you don't like the vocals, but the music's tight and everyone's having a good time, you, you yeah, you, it transfers. Yeah. No, they're fucking amazing. They're I mean, awesome. it's basically okay. every time I die with a different singer. Really? I mean, that's what it is. Oh. That that's the, it's all the same people, just minus one guy plus a guitar player. Uh, yeah. No, live, they're fucking. We saw them, if I saw them at Furnace Fest, that's where I got this shirt, dude. I want to go to Furnace Fest so bad. This you better. Year, so it's the last one, fellas. I know. It, you gotta wait, get your t- it Wait, Alabama? Sorry, yeah, it's the last end one. Of, end of an era is what they're debuting in. And as. it's like Dying Wish. Um, it's so many fucking bands. It's all the bands. It's like Dying Wish. And they haven't um, even finished uh, announcing. Stuff, announcing. So they, like, me and Kurt were talking about that. So, like, by this time last year, they had already announced and had the whole thing announced and everybody knew what they were getting into. We, I'm waiting. It's either, I think they're holding on to something big. Because why would you wait? It's like getting into summertime. I think I think this is probably gonna. I think that next band they announced Kurt's probably gonna come with a ticket price bump. <laughs> uh-huh. Get your tickets while you can, guys. Yeah. Well, it doesn't sell out. It's outside. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm waiting for There's infinite tickets. Banging in the rock to get announced. Mm-hmm. That is what I'm. So I feel excited like that's got to be soon, right? It, yeah. It's in. What did it say? September. September. It's so early this year. It's the same. Right. Like, so they got to announce probably as, soon. I would. They're dropping early birds. Like really, they've got to yeah. soon. I t- I was talking to uh, Reed the other week. Don't say nothing. You can't. No, I'm. I'm okay. Um, but I was I was like, hey, y- y'all got local support yet? And just you know, curious about that. Um, and he was like, no, dude, we're still booking like outside bands. So yeah. they're, they're still yeah. in the process of getting, well, you know, most stuff. that's how festivals work. A yeah. lot of that is like up to the moment, even sometimes the day, like, <laughs> yeah, it, well, you know, sometimes bands can't make it. Mm-hmm. Shit happens. Yeah. I'm, I'm really hoping for like some, some really cool bands this year. Cause they always do good. You oh, know, I think it's going to be ridiculous. Awesome. Yeah, dude. I wanted to go so bad last Nokia. year because of Orthodox and no cure. Why didn't you? You know they're coming here. I didn't have money, honestly. And I also wasn't in the state that weekend. Oh. So. Well, that's a pretty good excuse. Yeah. I didn't have money. Well, they will be here at the end of May. Yeah. Yeah. Down we're we're both going to that. Yeah. All of us Very are. Excited. The whole band is going to be I there. feel like, did you get your tickets? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because I feel like that's that one's definitely going to be a sellout. Speaking of sellouts, Kublai on. And like yeah. harm's way and all that. Mm-hmm. I bought my ticket like the day it got announced. It's almost sold out. It's like yeah, less, I know. It's less than 100 tickets right now. It is less than 100, yeah. I, I like that. It's less than less than 100. Right. It's less than less than 100. Mm-hmm. I think Stan's posted 75, so it's probably lower than that now. Yeah. So you got to imagine it's around 50, 50 to 60, 50, yeah. Yeah. yeah, which is insane. Mm-hmm. It's going to be uh, scary in that motherfucker. Last time KubaCon was here was at Vino's, and it was the whole goddamn – it's very rare you see the entire place erupt. And that was one of them. I feel like something is going to happen to me at that show. Like, <laughs> I will come out with, like, busted nose. Well, if Anthony Tiernan's there, you definitely will. Yeah. yeah. That's like, I'm scared Yo. to go. Tinsley's brother? Tiernan? Huh? Tinsley Tiernan? Uh, Tins- what? Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. No, no. Anthony. It doesn't matter. The guy that wears the mouth guard. Yes. Yeah, yes. that's who I'm thinking of. Yeah. 
Oh. Uh, anyway, doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, I just know the last name, so putting two and two together. Um, but yeah, no, dude, that that show's gonna be scary. Which one? Yeah. Go back on? Yeah. I, my, my memory is slipping for me now. I'm a little. It's, it feels like one of those shows where there might not be a safe place not going in the there. venue. Yeah. Like to be safe, you might have to go outside or hug a wall. <laughs> Bound boundaries, I feel like is is gonna be boundaries probably the same scary. way. I think I think it's gonna be pretty wild. Um, I think when Jacob announced that, when I was like, "Oh shit, <laughs> <laughs> no, have no cure security that night." <sighs> no cure is gonna knock out half the crowd. Yeah, like, no cure. Kawanashi is gonna kill. Then Orthodox coming yeah. in after that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of. It's an insane lineup. How many cool bands have been like <laughs> been getting announced? Mm-hmm. Like Boundaries, Kublai Khan, um, Drain, and Terror. Yeah. It's good, good. Oh mm-hmm. my god. Yeah. Um. Then the three that um Heavy Hits did with like a Pale Face, Oceano, mm-hmm. Zayo. Zayo. And then, um, mm-hmm. Zayo, Shut baby. Up. I'm thinking of, there's another one. Shut up. Not, has it not been that else? one, but, um. <laughs> Did you see the look of fucking fear on his face? Like, don't you <laughs> fucking dare. You, you went, you like noticed it. You were like, <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> no, um, that was awesome. I'm thinking of another one. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Hold on. Um, Kurt knows everything. Kurt knows everything. <sighs> Kurt knows everything. He really does. Yeah. He'll be telling me shit that I probably should know, and I'm like, huh? To be fair, the microphone did not pick that up. So uh, good. I figured it did. <laughs> Dude, I, I'm still like, you know, like, relatively new to this scene, and so I don't sure. know shit, man. Like, oh, it's all good. And anytime anybody says anything yeah. that like, is is like kind of obscure, like, oh, you remember when this happened? I'm like, fuck no, dude. I'm like, I'm just here chilling. I literally got here yesterday, man. Real, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, and that's cool too, and it's cool that y'all are like excited. It's yeah. neat to see a young, like a class, young kids. It's like, how the fuck did y'all even figure this out? And y'all are here now, and this you're is, all in bands. Yeah, Cersei is story, wild. Yeah. So, so like I was, uh, I said earlier about like Lucidian, and talk, we'll talk a little bit about that. Um, Originally, I was going to do, like, a solo project whenever I was, like, you know, 13, 14, getting into, you know, screaming and stuff like that. And um, I walked into the store, and I was, like, (laughs) I was talking to the manager, and I was, like, hey, you guys got recording stuff? And he's, like, here, my son will show you. And then, like, turns out he's, like, this really good drummer. And so I'm, like, fuck it, dude. You want to start a band? And so... (laughs) Kurt's going to hate me for this one, too. Um, the day after, we got together and tried to do a sleep token cover. <laughs> tried to do a sleep token cover. Yeah, right. and That's how you do it, man. It didn't sound horrible, but it's, it's never anything. You click or if you know the same stuff. Or so we, we, yeah, we did click, actually, pretty well um, at first. And then, you know, he and I, this is going to be some crazy lore drop, dude. Um, we were originally gonna play a thing at a Cersei called Beats and Eats, and it's like this thing that like during the summer it happens like every Thursday, okay. and it's like it's like it's in the it's downtown like a farmers area. market, kind of yeah. Um, it's mm, excuse me, um, it's it's downtown where you know near the music store. Yeah, yeah. We were gonna do like metal covers of pop songs. So kind of like an Our Last Night feel, like if you know who Not they a are. Bad idea. Um, just for the public. <laughs> yeah, no, I I like like a singular Our Last Night song, and that's about it. I don't even know what it is. I probably would not like it. Trash. I hate it. Kurt knows. Trash. Like I said, Kurt knows everything. <laughs> our, our Last Night is a band that literally just covers like top forty popular songs. They're like and metal. Metal ish way. Mm-hmm. Uh, they had a lot of trouble. Uh, because they were covering Kendrick Lamar song, and he was like, "I'm gonna say it because it's in the war." It's in the war. Yo, what? Oh, that yeah. thing. Oh, okay. So I, I didn't hear that about story. that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. They got kind of like canceled, quote unquote, around that sure. time. Sure. They still do it. Though. Interesting. They, I mean, they they do well for themselves. They I mean, I'm, a, I'm know, not a big top forty really guy good. anyway, so I don't really not, care if you're covering I'm top not. forty. It's not my thing. Um, right I mean, it's it's nice as like a little oh, gateway yeah, I mean, for I some people. It. It's it's nice as a gateway for some people. Like I'm getting my mom into like Bad Omens and Spirit Box right now. It's it's pretty cool. You can always go to like the upper crust where the the bands are kissing like the mainstream level. So there's mm-hmm. like enough singing where people are like I can actually enjoy this. Cool. And then like it it drops down and that's where it's the spiral a begins. Drop. It's a pretty quick drop. Yeah. And then and then you get into like the dungeon metal and shit. And you're just mm-hmm. like maybe I don't think I don't think this is for me. 
You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't understand a, a fucking thing. Snare. And it's like no one trash can snare yeah. goes so hard. Oh my god! See, same brainwave. Um, I just watched y'all morph into one person. It happens a lot. Like, it like happens. That. A lot. <laughs> I love, see, everyone hates it, but I love it. Best Metallica <laughs> album. Um, I love it. But <clears throat> so it turns out that you know he was this really good drummer, and then at the time we were like, do we know any guitarists? Because I don't want to play guitar. Because I was playing guitar like for. Um, like the songs, but I was learning everything by ear. Yeah. And he was like, I know this one guy, and like he was a thrash metal guitarist. And we told him it was like, we want to do metalcore. And then he thought we meant like Bullet from My Valentine, like Kill Switch type metalcore. Mm -hmm. And we meant like Spirit Box, Architects, like all this like modern the new, metalcore. The new stuff, modern, modern stuff, metalcore. Yeah. Which I, I don't shit on most of it because some of it's pretty decent. There's a, there's a couple that will catch my my eye every now and then, but I'm trying to get out of that like shitting on music thing because she's like just because it's not for me doesn't mean it's bad. No, for sure, because art like art you is know, subjective. It's, it's art. It's just subject. Yeah, it's like it's not just because just because I don't like it doesn't yeah, mean it's yeah. not like good right. for somebody else. So now I just try to look at their efficiency level. Yeah. So, like, but if it's like sloppy, and they sing or sucks, and it's like whatever, it's like oh no, you stink. Yeah. Like yeah. you actually yeah. suck. But until then, it's like um, good is good, you know. But we. We were like, yeah, let's uh, let's play some modern metalcore. And then we got together, and then we had a bassist, but then we kicked him out. And then we had, <laughs> we had <laughs> and then we, we had, a guy, then we fried him. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had some dude hit us up on Instagram, and he's like, hey, you guys trying to play something? And this is this is where like the Lord drop really begins. Guess, you guys trying to play something? Like yeah. as he swooped his he hit, he hit us up on Instagram. He even put that in the text. You know, a little he, weird emo little swoop. <laughs> Um, emoji and we were like yeah dude let's play uh, let's play with Zast and so this was back when Zast first started it was like after their first two shows they ever played and we were trying to plan something for the end of the summer and so us being this extremely smart well coordinated 14 and 15 year olds that we were we decided let's cover Lorna Shore and Whitechapel and Wage War and uh -huh. like and we found out very quickly that shit does not work. That shit tanked. It was not fun. And then we that show got canceled. And so we were like, hey, oh, thank God. let's play Cersei Scream Fest with Zash. That was that was the name of the um the the lineup. And it was gonna be like us, Zash, and Brother Tongue. And oh, yeah. love me some Brother Tongue. Me too, man. Uh, I don't know if it's RIP or not, but Please come back. Yeah, dude. I don't. I don't know. I think it's more one of those when they can kind of things. I think it's one of those bands. Kind of like, like EMS. Yeah, I love it's EMS. Like, we yeah, love EMS. Too. Um, it's good. Awesome. But they played, they played the Bash too. Mm -hmm. And then we played. We played with them. With the it was us, Current Solace, EMS, and Hypertension. In February. Yeah. yeah. Um, that was our. That was one of our back second back. shows. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so, um, we tried to play Cersei, like Cersei Scream Fest. <laughs> Cersei Scream Fest. Cersei Scream Fest. It was going to be a Halloween thing. Yeah. And so um, there was so much that, like, we had talked about, like, me and Jackson had talked about, like, doing and, uh, like, like an like an art thing and, like, you know, making, like, a, uh, like a little homemade, like, horror movie trailer and, like, doing there some poster go. art. Yeah. Um, and then nothing ever happened because they had too what? much going on that October. Yeah. And then it also so happened that we, like, auditioned for it and they came to our practice and they were like, y'all They were like, we'll, we'll let you guys know. And then, like, the day after. They lit it on fire with you still in it. They were like, we'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I mean, no, they were nice about it. And, uh, it happens. Yeah. Especially because, like, we, we sucked. Like, that well, was... And when you're trying to build something, it's not like a jumping off point for a band when you're trying to make, like, an event. Mm -hmm. That's, like, a Thursday night. Hey, we just want a three band bill. This band's gonna hop on. It's their first show. Let them, you know, work out the kinks. Yeah, you know, and you know, nothing ever, nothing ever came of that one. So, yeah. um, it's 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 honestly been like three years in the making of us trying to get a show with Zashed. It's it's been so long, dude. Um, but the January came around. The first show that Lucidium ever played was actually like hosted by Jackson and Beckham, and so. That bill was, it was us, like, a local Cersei rapper, Rip Six. Okay. And then um, Brother Tongue headlined. And so we we played, like, that's a, a... That's a lineup right there. We played a 20, 25, 30-minute set-ish, yeah. probably. He he was there at our first so, show. Yeah, he wasn't in the band I, yet. I wasn't in the band yet. 
Oh, um, okay. I just kind of went because the day before that, Ivan took me to um, the like the Zash the Morbid Visions open casket thing at Full Moon. Mm -hmm. That was my first ever metal show. Wow. After. Yeah. And so the day after that was this like local Cersei thing, and I was like, oh, cool, local band. I met the drummer because I met him at the music store, right? Mm -hmm. And kind of where everybody knows our drummer. And so I would assume. And so I went and. And the rest is history. And, uh, is history. A year and a half they, later, here we are. So not even a year and a half. What? But a year <clears throat> after that I'd first year show. And a half, year and a half. January last yeah. year. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah a year and a half. So um, that first show, though, we played mainly covers. Two thousand. No, it was all covers. <laughs> but it was it was all like two thousands metal. So it was like we opened up with Eyeless by Slipknot. And we played uh -huh. Sugar by System of a Down and closed with Freak on a Leash. And then <laughs> and then our our me and me and our drummer like were like era. me and our drummer were like, fuck it, let's let's cover Counting Worms by Knocked Loose. And so Architects. Yeah, we covered an architect song. It was like the, the simplest to... architect song that has ever been. You spent all that time learning all them songs you didn't write. We could have been writing original music. Okay. Man. Dude. I mm, and so, choice words, dude. Don't go into it. Nope. Yeah, I'm just nope. Just, I know. I know. It seems strange to learn all, all those songs and not start writing at oh, some point. Yeah. So and then the but second didn't have one by the time I saw y'all, didn't we you? actually had two? three. Oh my bad. No, no, you're good. You're good. Three. Uh, <laughs> um, the second show we ever played was most of the shows that we got like were me hitting somebody up and like asking about something. Mm. And so the second show we ever played, I called it Full Moon Records. And we got a show. It was us, supposed to be Blast, but they dropped off because somebody got, like, pneumonia. Oh, who which, knows, yeah. Um, and then Held Tight, Color Design, and Second Life. And that was, Shit. it was Hardcore for Hunger. Yeah. Um, and we, like, that was when we started, like, going a little bit more, like, hardcore leaning. But, like, our, our guitarist at the time still really wanted to do, like, thrash and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And so we kept um, 115 as, like, kind of our thrash song. Um, we we covered a landmark song. They're metalcore from France, France, um, France. Shout out to them. Shout out <laughs> landmarks. Shout out landmarks. Dude. Thanks, France. Um, <laughs> giving us Tortilla. stuff. But yeah, so we covered a knocked loose song. I hate watching that footage. I've I seen it. it. I've Listen, seen it so many times. The older you get, the more you'll hate it all. It's fine. Yeah. Just, like, and it was recorded by him. This is when we first found out that he existed. Kurt films <laughs> these great, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Kurt films all kinds of stuff of me, and I, I watch zero of it. I was planning to go out to that show, and then I remember he posted the footage, and I was like, oh, my God. I take that back. I, I've watched a couple things, but most things I'm just like, ugh. Yeah. Even um, this, when I listen to this back, or mm -hmm. watch it back, I'm just like, God, you're so fat. You look like an idiot. Um, I'm very hard I'm on myself. I'm sure I'm going to watch it back, and it'll be like, I'll be playing with my hands. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did a cover set. And a, there's no way to just be a guy who dresses like a normal guy. Like Every mm -hmm. time I die, they just wear normal clothes. There's not like a gimmick to them. They're just a band. Mm -hmm. So it's like, how do we... So, like, Cody got, like, a wig and, like, actually had, like, the beanie for the basses and stuff. And I was like, well, the drummer's name is Goose. And at first I was going to get a Goose costume. But those are expensive as shit. So it's like, well, I'm not going to do that. So I got a T-shirt. And I just wrote, I'm Fat Goose on the shirt. <laughs> like, in big font letters. like across That's awesome. Whole. Well, the problem is <clears throat> I'm actually fat. So when I, <clears throat> so when I sat down. No. Well, <laughs> thanks. When I sat down. The goose disappeared, so for the whole set, every <laughs> photo I made, it just says, I'm fat in oh, huge no. letters. Yeah. Oh, dude. Very That's funny. great, dude. And he took one of, he took, and what really sucks is my favorite photo of me drumming ever. Mm -hmm. I'm not even, it's not even my own music, and we have a giant, every time I die, eye right behind me. That's so cool. But I, but I, I got it blown up on a piece of glass, like, this big, and it's Whoa. in my house hanging up. And uh, it, but it's hilarious because when you look at it, it's like, wow, that's a cool picture, but it's just I'm, I'm fat. fat. <laughs> that's great. It's kind of perfect, really. So I love that fucking photo. <laughs> he. I didn't say that. So whenever we played that Full Moon Records show, we had one original at the end of our set that was like, kind of like a new metal song. Should mm -hmm. we tell him what the name is? Should we? No, no. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell. It was dropping logs. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, that's so bad. So, <laughs> dude, thank lost. you, thank you. I hated the name for so long, and our guitarist, our guitarist never funny. wanted to it's change funny. it. Ivan told us we needed to change the name to Eat Shit and Die. Yeah, that's better than dropping. Lots. Real, yeah, um, right. but. Yeah, so we had, we always called it dropping. We never said the full word, like, on stage ever. Um, but Vino's, Vino's Rolls Around, we had two originals. And that was one that I, one that I wrote the guitar for that sounded a little bit too much like a, a certain Zash song. It, it happens. Like, it like you gotta stay away dude. from, yeah. mm, it, it sounded like bad. both. It sounded like Eva by Zash. I'm, I'm gonna be for real, dude. I, I wrote that subconsciously. It and happens. then, yeah. It happens. But it, good thing you notice it, because then mm-hmm. you gotta go, oh, we can't do this. Right. We did it. To Speaking a song. of songs that sound like other songs, that's what I I have to do that all the time with some of our music because I'll be yeah. like, oh, this sounds cool, right? And then I'll go listen to like my playlist and I'm yep. like, shit, this exists. We did it on the Lame Johnny record. Like you can listen to it, but you, like, well, actually, you can because Kurt put it out there. Mm-hmm. It's an extra track. We didn't even have it mixed or anything, so it's just tracks kind of curmudgeon mm-hmm. together. But mm-hmm. you know, it's like, oh, when. We didn't even realize it till we heard it back. Played it a hundred times at practice, getting it all cool and everything. You know, mm-hmm. gonna go record it, record it, and then we're listening back after the vocal take, and I was like, um, "I don't think we can play this song." <laughs> <coughs> we have a song Sorry. with the the song that we have with Bryce from Hypertension is uh-huh. called "Lost Touch." Um, it sounds like an open casket song. That's all right, because the first. So oh, at, yeah. at the first show that we played, um, Fox was standing up in the like at the very front, By and the and yeah, and I I like looked at him and I was like, oh god, he's gonna hear this. And as soon as it's the and like his face goes, he's like looking back at like the the guys <laughs> at the merch table, and it sound what is it? What song is it? Blood Moon, I think. It's carcass, cark ass, whatever it's called. What'd you call me? Carcass. 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 Um, but yeah, yeah there's a picture of him during that song, and he's just like, yeah, that we we had that awesome. for a while as our uh, our Spotify um, banner. No, I think we still do. It still has our Spotify banner, but it's like <laughs> everybody in the front row is just like, that's good. It's that's awesome. the highest compliment you yeah. get. And then uh, Fox so. Fox is standing there like, it's his hand on his chest. It's funny. Hell yeah, yeah, it's so funny. Love that. Um, the fucking. Yeah, that's how you know it's good, man. Yeah. Oh. Stank. Absolute stank. <laughs> and if you're at a Minus the War show, if everyone's fucking bawling their eyes out, that's how you know it's good. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was emotional, dude. dude. I cried so much. It's, it was awesome. I was like, damn it, So dude. good. But then the second set, we got to let loose. Oh, yeah, no, dude. The second set was crazy, and then fucking Todd, like, on the, the rafters. Yes. That was awesome. The old lady crowd surfing. Yeah. yeah. We crowds. Served like an old lady all the way to the back of me. <laughs> Not like an old lady. She was 74, Should've... and she was the bassist grandmother. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, that, dude, that shit was awesome. That's awesome. I'll have to find the video. There's video, and it's from the front of the stage all the way to the back. Apparently, oh, somebody... Whole thing. No. Yeah, somebody got... Nice. Put it on um, YouTube, please. I can't believe that one didn't go... Like, the thing you want to go viral, like, that goes... That's viral, yeah, dude. There's a, there's a clip of Fox at Vino's. He's like, turn somebody into pepperoni pizza. Turn and somebody into a fucking, fucking pepperoni pizza. I love it, dude. I, I love, love funny goofy call-outs. shit like yeah. that. Goofy call... Um, Matt Honeycutt. That used to be a... Who Black Colin. A buddy of mine, Seth, we used to... That used to be like a... Like a running theme in our friendship mm-hmm. like if you'd get bored you'd just start doing hardcore band guy call outs and we would spend hours just coming up with the most ridiculous send shot. me a list i don't even oh, know dude. what day of the week it is <laughs> i'll just call today get fucked up dude <laughs> one of my favorites was uh uh i don't know if i'm gonna say it right it was his but he was like it's one of the ones we laughed the most but you know we're in a shed somewhere yeah. got you know probably in hot springs in the Gosh, fucking country babies. Probably drunk, just not gonna lie. And he was like, uh, what is fuck, man? Booze brain. Uh, he's like, <laughs> oh, oh, look to the guy next to you. Grab him by the dick. <laughs> Tell him a knock knock joke. <laughs> and, then you go in, and then you go into the song, like the breakdown or whatever. You Tell had him a, a knock knock joke. Motherfucking day. <clears throat> I need you. We, we got permission to use that one. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, we gotta remember it, though. It's kind of, it's gonna yeah. be on the footage. I, I wanted to. We are recording this entire thing just so you know. Oh, that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. What what hour minute as so they can go back and <laughs> give me the exact timestamp. How many? One hour and thirty nine minutes. Thirty nine minutes. 
Awesome. I thought we'd been here for like 30 minutes. Dude, it's a time vortex, and I'm telling you, I say it every podcast, but every guest is like, the time just slips Goes on by. by. It's crazy. Dude. Yeah. I could probably have like seven missed calls right now. Like, where the hell are you? Well, they should know. They do. Okay. You'd be like, I'm busy. <laughs> That's okay. what you need to know. Yeah. My phone's on airplane mode. I'm sure my wife has hit me up multiple times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She knows. Good. You want to finish the whole? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So oh, yeah. yeah. So he he enters the band. We play a Vino show with him. That was so we were supposed to play with Victims, which is really funny because it's kind of like circling around. Mm-hmm. So they didn't show up because their van fucking broke down mm-hmm. in Texas, um, coming back from So What Fest, and then you know like a year later, pretty much like almost the exact same time we're playing with them again. So hopefully hopefully the van doesn't break down again. Don't say that. Knock on wood. I knock said on the it. table. Knock on the table. I mean, he's not gonna do it, dude. You're jinxing him. There you go. There you go. Damn. Oh, um, but I can't believe you just said that part out loud. I knocked on wood. We'll be okay. <laughs> we'll be okay. Um, sorry, victims. Future. Sorry, victims. Your van. <laughs> Get the oil change day before the Arkansas date, please. Well, what was it? Was that the one? It was the like transmission the... actually? Yeah. The transmission got fucked. fucked up. Was it like the middle of no? I think I remember this. It was it, Dallas. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was in Dallas. And it was After hot. So oh, that fast. sucks. Hot as shit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so he he enters. We play Vinos, and then the last show that Lucidium ever played was it, it was the S Town beat. It was the current Solace first ever show. So it's where like they made Open Cast and Kill Order open up for them. <laughs> it was like one enters, one leaves. Love it. Awesome. I mean, you know, it was a good, good show, dude. That's probably that was, the most people we've ever had in a show. show really? Yeah. Uh, it's not the best show that we ever played, but it was the best show that, like, crowd wise. Yeah. No, we sucked ass that show. <laughs> we did. <laughs> we did. At least you're honest. <laughs> it's okay. You might be hard on yourself. Don't put it on everybody else now. Yeah. I did. I uh, like mm-hmm. I said I missed one note and I'm like well this show is far dead to me. Yeah, I will never. Yeah, yeah we played a Gojira game. cover that show. Yeah, we did Gojira and then Boundaries like right after it. Which is funny because Boundaries is like probably our most like inspiring band for Third Blood. Yeah, okay. Boundaries or Dying Wish. Dying Wish for him because of the like more melodic metalcore stuff. Yeah. Um, he loves his bouncy riffs. I love my beatdown, so we we just kind of compromise. You can do both. Exactly. That's exactly what we do. Um, yeah, we've got we've got like two, three, three songs that are like melodic. Faded faces taking shape, lost touch. Yeah, yeah we got three melodic songs, and then the other two are like more beat down esque. Um, yeah, yeah, um, and in even one of those melodic. Well, actually, no, both of those melodic songs, two of the three melodic songs, are more like beat down esque too, um, and it's like. There's like either a, a verse or it's like the chorus is like melodic. Yeah. So. Um, Always get them with that chorus, man. I want to start doing cleans on some of our stuff, like that. I keep saying NDs. it. Cleans. Saying what it. do you mean? Like clean vocals, like okay. singing and stuff like that. Yeah, we. Um, <coughs> I, I would say like as far as bands go, like Boundaries, Dying Wish, um, a band that a band that he and I went and saw called Cell. Um, Cell like C E L L. Okay, mm-hmm. from they're from OKC. OKC, and they're like beat down. Like I wouldn't say sl- eh, I might say a slam. A little bit of slam. A little yeah. bit of slam influence. They opened for. Okay, it was with Mazinko and Kalinashi and Mugshot. I was there. Also, that dude. Yeah, that mouth, set mouth went for war too. Fucking crazy. Uh, um, that show was pretty cool. It was awesome. Yeah. So Cell is another one of the bands that like we've started kind of diving into as far as like riff influence and then um i brought this up to them like a couple days ago but a band called contention Mm -hmm. they're pretty cool they're like uh like melodic hardcore Mm -hmm. um that i'd like to throw some influence on with the the next record that i have an entire track list and a name for (laughs) that i've already started writing lyrics for uh you write the lyrics before the song i I write this yep okay i i have like probably six or seven songs written at the moment that have no sort of instrumental to them so you just write to write and then if it works you can fit it to the music anything like literally whenever we write songs it'll be either me coming in with an idea or him coming in with a riff and we just write it like all during a practice yeah well that's the best one yeah they they gotta happen right there because that's the free free flowing expression or whatever and they're like i'll come up with a riff it's very rare that a song that took four months to write is a good song yeah it's like with taking shape 
um, I had been making that for a good month or so. That the beginning opening yeah. riff, right? And I brought Which that. Which isn't in. even on the record. No, the, the intro to the song. No, the mm, mm, yeah, I know, I know. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about that, but like the but, he had an intro for it that we didn't even like use on the record. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we completely use it live. It. That's what we yeah. we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. You gotta have both. Yeah, live and record. But stuff. I had been making that for a good like month, month and a half. And the first time, like us three, me, him, and our drummer practice, I was like, hey, I had this riff, played it, and he was like. Yeah, let's do something with it. Let's, yeah. let's do something with it. Um, I and think, we wrote the whole song that night. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think the longest it's ever taken us to write a song is like two hours. I feel that. We yeah. we write everything that. during practice, and the reason that I always write lyrics it really fucks me up if I have to leave a song like on the table at practice. That's what we did with. Yeah. Um, lost, uh, it makes me it makes mm. me question everything about the song because the one that the one that we've been writing but didn't. <laughs> you'll um, you'll find out. You'll find out. Um, but yeah, so it usually doesn't take. Do super you self long. edit? Do you hmm? self edit yourself? Like the lyrics too long, or do you try to get it all in there? I usually try to get it all in there. There's a couple times where I did have to lyric edit, or yeah. like a lyric sounded like too close to another lyric that was like sure, local. Sure, sure. Um, and I had I had some people help me with that, thankfully. So, um, I mean, everything still sounds good though. It's pro. It's honestly about the same that I've always wanted it to be. You know. Yeah. Um, and the reason that I write lyrics before we ever um, get a song written is because I can't write lyrics to an instrumental track. Really? I just can't. Interesting. It is It is probably the hardest thing I've ever had to try and do. And at some point, I just give up and I'm like, fuck it. I'm just going to write lyrics before instrumental. Mm. Um, I write it in the moment. As it's, the song's <clears throat> coming together, I'm writing the lyrics to fit the... I write mine in the booth. Yeah. Kurt writes his in the bathroom. He calls it <laughs> toilet lyrics. Um, the song of my people. <laughs> we um, sorry, Kurt. You know, anytime that I ever come he just up turns with it off. <laughs> with, <laughs> all right, podcast done. End. Uh, Don't do it. <laughs> um, whenever I come up with lyrics, though, it's usually like a it's set to a structure, mm -hmm. and that, that that helps out uh, them a lot with coming up with something. And so, like, he'll have a riff in mind for a specific song. So and you I'm, can be like, I heard it like this in my head. Maybe mm -hmm. try to get in that area. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then usually whenever we're writing, I'm right. I'll be like, okay, give me something that's, like, similar to this. And then he'll come up with something, and then we'll, like, run with it. He'll tweak it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then. I've um, done that. Yeah. Usually I'll have to practice the riff because it's, like, I don't know. I just won't be able to get it down. I'll I, go home, and I'll, like. Yeah. I was writing a song, or, like, I, I try not to write, like, whole songs, but, like. Uh, uh, Wait, did I miss something? I was trying to write a riff. I was trying to like write a riff today, actually, on my way up here. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, that would be sick. I hope I remember that. I will not remember that. No, it, it never happens. Mm -hmm. Unless you record it. I I had... Um, so I just I have so many mouth notes. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. and, the guitar, and then I'll say, and the guitar is like... <laughs> We're using that. Yes. The singles dropping. <laughs> That's it. Um, Pinch harmonica <laughs> in there. Oh my god! I can't I order do a freaking um, the drop pedals, like pitch the, shifter. the pitch drop shifter. D. Yeah, pitch pedals. shifter. Yeah. That way, when I go to do like dissonance, panic stuff, those are pretty, go, like, pretty fun to mess with. I love yeah. them. It's like I can just be in drop G in an instant, just mm. click a button and <laughs> <laughs> go to like freaking. It's like, pretty on. close to. I don't think it's actually. 100% accurate, but I think live it doesn't matter. Yeah. I think no one's going to pay no attention. No one's going to back. Yeah. Oh. They didn't actually play in drop G. It was a pedal. Yeah. Like, you're not going to know. Yeah. yeah. But they are fun as hell to play with. Uh -huh. Yeah. I love them. Especially if you can sit there and switch between them. If you go the one with the, with the expression pedal on uh -huh. it, yeah, that yeah. thing's insane. The whammy pitch shift. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was talking about. I might actually go order one when I get back. <laughs> I shit you not. <laughs> It's like yeah. I did a podcast and I spent two hundred dollars. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to Guitar Center. It's time after well spent. This. We are yeah. going to Guitar Center after this. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, we're go so, I mean, if you're in town, lunch. you might as well. I actually just got actually a new guitar. What'd you get? I got like a little Jackson um, soloist. It's like six hundred bucks. Okay. Hell it's yeah. Like camo, camo on the front. There you go. Hardcore shit. Dope. Shred shit. It has been. It has served me well so far. What about um, 
man, I just got some new gear too. I was pricing new drum kick pedals and now I want to fucking cry myself. <laughs> I was like, well, now if the drum set's new, I should probably get like some new get cymbal new, stands yeah. or like a new kick pedal. Get a new crash. A, a single kick kick pedal costs more yeah. now Don't than when I was buying gear all the time than a double kick pedal would have. Oh and I was God. like, this is this is insane. What the fuck, who the fuck is buying this shit? Who the shit? fuck is pricing it? Well, dickheads. Yeah, I was just yeah. about to say, old dickheads. Six hundred dollars for a fucking single kick, you assholes. That's crazy. Yeah, it's insane. You, uh, you got any questions, Rich? Uh, questions? No, yeah, this man. is what this is. Any, anything, like anything interview specific? style, man. Anything specific. If I had to guess, I don't know. You got any dead relatives yet? Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just <laughs> no. <clears throat> oh, I got tons. Oh Most. yeah. Most of my family's dead. We got a bunch of Damn. dead dogs. That's about it. Dogs? dogs. Dead dogs? Ruffles. Yeah. Ruffus. Scribbles. <laughs> hey, hey, you know Bud. When was the last time you went to the movie theater? Ooh. Ooh. I went to the movie ago. tavern to see Incredibles 3. I think. Not Incredibles 3. Long time ago. Long Incredibles 2. Time ago. That was the last time you went to the last movie theater. Last time I went to the movie theater. To see a movie that doesn't exist. He, he meant Incredibles. You said Incredibles three. It's Incredibles two. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Wh- whatever the newest one. We is. knew what you meant. I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, like I said, it was forever ago. That's kids don't go to the movies, man. I was saying, they YouTube. Don't, I don't think they, they don't get it. Fuck. Five it's Nights so, at Freddy's. That was. That was still like six months ago. Yeah. I mean, uh, that's, that was October. Yeah, so yeah. Like six months ago. Like yeah. eight. Six. Yeah. Eight. Yeah. God, yeah. that's so, ridiculous. So in, so in your age range, like, what's the like ideal consumable media? Oh, it's Ooh. YouTube, right? TikTok. TikTok. I hate TikTok. I cannot uh, stand TikTok. Can't either. Um, I'm just fucking ban it already. Yeah. <laughs> ban it all. Either, either Let's go like, back. Either YouTube or like... I miss the days when flyers worked well. <laughs> when flyers actually did something. Speaking I, of I, flyers... I, I feel like they go. still do, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Like we, went, we went flyer sticking, and we 100% got people in the door from it because they were from out of town, though. We need to, we need to call... Or message Sam from Heavy Hits and see if she's up there at the rev room today. We got to go pick up flyers and physical tickets for Baleface. Yeah. So good. Get on it. I was about to say, let's go hang him somewhere. Dude. Well, it's Sunday though. He's probably not there. Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. There is, usually, I feel is like there's always a show at rev room. We could figure it out, huh? Well, it's a Chelsea Green. I mean, that's not at rev room. Yeah. It's at the hall. I feel like there's always something going on at rev room. Not always. not always. I mean, it's just a hall now. There's not like a restaurant in. Uh, yeah. no, 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 no. They sell they sell pizza. They sell flatbread pizza. Yeah. Eh. I'm gonna pick one up. It looks right. good. It looks good. Yeah, I go next door. Gus's. I forget you. Ha- Shout out to Gus's. Shout out Gus's, dude. <laughs> but also, if you ever get a chance, to- oh, you're going to Memphis soon. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's in a bit of a, a dangerous part of town, but the original Gus's is there, and it will. Blow your fucking mind apart. It's so, actually yes. It's so right, it's it's better. We're, it's going, better. we're going. It's better than the one we have. Like really, really? yes, by a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. Now you will wait, and you better not be late. They're gonna be like, uh, because it's stay, like the place stays packed, but they'll be like, you get a table in like forty five minutes. It's just literally a whole small ass little building has like eight tables, maybe everyone's sitting next to each other. It's cram packed. And like the fryers and shit are like in a hallway. That sounds it's, so awesome, dude! That's it's awesome, amazing. Dude. It's the best fucking I chicken you'll ever Gus's have in your life. I had on a freaking school trip, and I was like, before our Lucid Vino show, I was like, hey, let's go to this place called Gus's Fried Chicken. It's been something that we do before almost every. It's show like a pre-show rock. ritual. Yeah, hell yeah. Speaking of pre-show rituals, we used to do. Um, it's a place in Crack. Cersei. Oh, wait, sorry. Going, dude. Is that where you're I mean, going? Wait, where are you going? Nah. Uh, <laughs> um, Mon- it's a place called, was it Kubla Grill? Hublai. Hub- Hublai Grill mm. in Hublai Cersei. Mon- and it's awesome. It's like Mongolian, like build your own <gasps> really? rice and like noodles rice. and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you like. I love Mongolian. Yeah, it's it's pretty, pretty much a shitty. Cersei version of Genghis Grill. Good. But it's it's really good, dude. Uh, where is this? Cersei. Is it in that little downtown area? No. It, it's JC over Penny. It's over by JC Penny and the like the GameStop and the Walmart that we Noted. have. Kurt, we're going to Cersei. Timestamp's uh, one hour fifty four minutes. You're, you're welcome. You can <laughs> see that? See what the that? fuck? I don't have my glasses on either. You don't need them. Oh shit, I shouldn't have said that. Mom, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you don't you don't need the glass she can see you. <laughs> yeah, those are the things you can see you. You haven't had your glasses on for two hours on camera. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, are, you, are they corrective lenses? <laughs> um, no, I have a, a stigma, stigmatism in my r- right eye, I believe. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. He's got like it's my right eye. See little dots. It's my right eye. Do you think magic is real? I, yes. Yes. I can see hands down. I can read none of that. That's insane. Yeah, I was about to say I can't see. You, That's you, all just. Shit. You guys want to talk about ghosts? No. I had a couple experiences. Really? Yeah. I had Scary one at ones. Eureka Springs. Eureka Springs. The Crescent uh, Hotel. That I mean, isn't that where you're supposed to see ghosts? Yeah. yeah. Dude, I got like I super one. lightheaded going up to the third floor for no reason at all. And then it turns out that like some weird shit happened in the staircase. Like I think somebody like fell. Murder. Murder. Um somebody fell from like I think maybe you're just haunted, because didn't this pod start with ghosts? Yeah, it's uh Did it? Oh God. Zombie ghost in the yeah. Zombie EP. No. Was, Wait, no. Oh yeah, the guy in the nursing home. The nursing I forget that's the oh, first yeah. thing that we talked about, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So we we got some pictures there and there's a couple where there's like orbs and shit and then there's one picture where you can see like a shadow of somebody standing behind my mom and it's she's not standing behind like in front of a wall so it's it's weird it's weird yeah it's creepy we watched a ghost adventures uh episode after that because we were staying for like a three place Mm -hmm. yeah and yeah yeah, i know it's 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 it's, been on multiple it's pretty fucked dude i'm aware i'm aware but uh, somebody, Shout out to the Allen house. huh? Shout out to the Allen house. To the Allen house. We uh, I had one when I was a kid, but the house that I lived in, allegedly or apparently or something, whatever the lore of it is, mm-hmm. two two kids were murdered there. Uh-huh. In a house I grew up in, sort of grew Whoa. up in, and we lived there for like five years. But I was okay. pretty young. It's one of the first homes we moved in when we moved from Texas. And I had an experience there that was like, I can't explain that. That shit was crazy. What was it? Dude, I was outside playing basketball. You know, hoop over the garage, try to set yep. the scene. Mm-hmm. Gravel driveway, very old school That's vibes. Exactly what I had. It's the early 90s, you know. A time you can't fathom. Dude. <laughs> yeah, can't. I would have I would have <laughs> thrived in the 90s and early 2000s. Sure. It was a good time. We all did. Uh <laughs> Kurt wasn't alive. I was alive. <laughs> so anyway, I'm sitting there and I, I start feeling kind of weird, mm-hmm. right? Same thing with you. I start feeling mm-hmm. like, what the fuck is that? And then, listen, I can't say whether this is real or not. I'm mm-hmm. just telling you what happened to me. Mm-hmm. I see footprints in the leaves coming at me. That's fucking weird. I freak out. I was like, the fuck, and I run inside. Yeah, and I'm mm-hmm. terrified. Now I'm cold and shaky and i'm like oh my god that was insane and i go and i sit we had like this recliner and the tv uh well i did tv the tv's like in front of you on a, on a stand because they were old as shit we didn't hang on the wall yet uh uh and i sit down and i had the remote box and it was a sanyo oh my 32 god. inch dude the remotes, if i could I own a box tv the, i would the, the remote the remote's like this and uh-huh. it's like real slim at the time was like high tech bro a slim remote and uh, I remember sitting there, and I'm shaking, and I dropped the remote, and the remote kind of paused and then fell. And I was like, fuck no. And I, I, I sprinted up up the block, like up like on a hill, up to the street, up the block, and down Highway 5 for probably half a mile, and to my friend uh, KJ's house. And I was Dude. like, I'm not going back home to my parents. Dude. Come home. It was fucking insane i still think about look i still think about it still oh fucking gosh. gets me man it was what that the crazy the that's like, so crazy dude. i'm not saying it whatever but that yeah. it fucking happened and i was like nope this is fucking <laughs> up fuck that dude it was sc- sc- so fucking scary ghosts are weird dude yeah they got nothing left to do man i would haunt the living for would, sure living. Yeah, if i pass on cool. and i'm like Wait, it's optional what we do over here? Uh, I'm, I'm going to hang back. out for a little bit. I'm going to haunt. Anybody, <laughs> I'm gonna go who, anybody who I've ever had beef with is about to get fucked. I 100% <laughs> want to possess somebody. Yes. Like, definitely. Uh, knock some so shit weird. off the walls. Oh, for sure. Dude, speaking of possession, have you seen Hereditary? Like the movie? I haven't. Dude. I don't get to well, watch. I, I love horror. Yeah. like my favorite Thank genre. God. But wife absolutely cannot watch it. And we're together if I'm not doing this kind of stuff, I'm with her because I'm never around. So 
trying to be a good hereditary like good person. You you need to go watch it at some point, but it's probably like my favorite supernatural like cult slash possession movie. Yeah. It looks cool. It's I'm really really good. I'm sure. Yeah, he's not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> not seen it. Yeah. Kurt knows everything. There you go. Kurt knows everything. He's like, let me guess. Everyone dies. No, uh, there's a. Have you seen the ritual? Yes, dude. I have the book. That this movie is so wonderfully shot. Those gas station in the woods scenes. Mm-hmm. I'm like a cinematic it's trippy fanatic. As hell. I love that movie. And then at the end, when that creature comes walking through the fire, and you're just like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, opens its face like. <sighs> yes, it's got those weird baby arms. What the yeah. fuck, dude? This. You haven't seen it? I've never oh. seen this before. Okay, this is I'll so try fun not to, to talk about I'll try not to spoil it. Oh, it's not like I'm going to go on. It's on it. Netflix. Oh, is it? It's yeah. on Netflix. I might actually be able to watch You need to go watch it's, it. I think it's like a two-hour long movie. It's a cinematic masterpiece, and the storytelling is out of this world. But it's not scary until it is. And then when it becomes scary, you're like, holy fucking shit. It's it, gets, it gets scary kind of fast, fuck. though, dude. But then it subsides. The You're talking about the knife scenes? Mm-hmm. It's, yes. That what well, that's just because it's kind of real. Well, yeah, they played it a little real. It's a little like oh fuck, like that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. It's like not jump scares. It's like it's just suspension and like suspension anxiety. Suspension and anxiety. Yeah, and you're just like, what the fuck? It's is a, that? I honestly I think that's more of like a psychological movie than it anything. Might be yeah. Well, because it plays into the mm-hmm. psychological realm. Um, for sure. What's interesting about it's it's a bit haunty. It is. Yeah. The the uh. It's it's weird because like the movie like sets up like everything you need to know about like the reason that they're on the hike. Yes. In the book, it starts off with the deer in the tree. Really? Yeah. And kind of throw. Oh, so they kind of they kind of throw it back. Mm-hmm. So it's the book's more like a Tarantino movie, and they went more straight. Whoever did that movie, fucking, it knocked it out of the park. Mm-hmm. It's phenomenal. You go home today, scare yourself. Yeah. Get a um, pizza or whatever the hell kids <clears throat> eat now for snacks. Y'all are good kids. Y'all might have like toast or something. <laughs> Dude, love me some Waffle House toast. That's the that is my name. That is my name for like used to be my name for Snapchat was Waffle House toast. I'm like it's probably it toast, and he's like it is toast. It's toast. How do you know? I was probably hurting him. Too. It's supposed to be like bagel bites or fucking. Toast. You know, Totino's pizza rolls. rolls. Yeah. yeah, that's what it I is. Grew. It is Totino's and like. TV dinners like do Salisbury. You, do you church up the toast stuff. or just dry? You got butter, no, cinnamon. No, I, I put it with dry. butter. Butter. Thank dry God. toast. Gotta, gotta butter your toast and then I put some of that like, what's it called? Like Creole seasoning on it. There you go. Dude. Okay. It's, it's fire. It's actually pretty good. It's like, it's, actually cooks. I cook. Oh, good. He is. I do cook. You should all cook. It saves you yeah. so much I can, I can make a pretty good omelet. Oh, well. Next time we're at, nice. next time if we ever, if we ever play Eyes Up, Gonna there pull, you go. Gonna pull a Todd, and make an omelet. There you go. Nice. Yeah, he, uh, he makes a pretty good omelet. We we filmed Does he really? Video, yeah, yeah. We we filmed a video making fun of that situation mm-hmm. for like a show promo or whatever mm-hmm. once, and he just ended up making like three omelets because we couldn't get through the script. And I had one. I was like, this is actually pretty good, Todd. Not bad. I have him in my contacts. I need to ask him to make me an omelet. <laughs> I think he probably actually would. Can I, <laughs> I, 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 I dude. Yep. Can I come over for breakfast? I think he might. He he's the kind of guy that probably sure. you probably could get an invite for I sure. I love I love a good sausage gravy and biscuits if oh, it's done right. Yeah. What? Fuck sausage. I don't like sausage. I don't like the flavor. Never liked the breakfast sausage. Oh. This podcast is off the womp, rails. Womp womp womp. I don't like gravy. It is. Uh, I, I, hey, I don't like gravy either. It's the from gravy. it's from the fucking Great Depression, and we don't need it. Exactly. You know Unless, it's liquid slant. bread because Unless it's, it's done right. Get, Did you know that most Unless of it's done right. They were the Great uh, I actually yes, hate gravy most of the time. I also know that we have options, and they didn't. They yeah, had yeah. they had flour. They had to make every meal because you know that's there wasn't yeah it was restaurants, which they were making every meal too. Yeah, they could. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there wasn't DoorDash in the 1920s. It's, it's the milk, the milk carrier man comes up with his empty bottles. <sighs> yeah, horse and carriage <laughs> come up with your too? fucking huh? The milk guy can't bring a sandwich with him too. No, 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 no. no. Strictly milk, breadcrumbs, moldy milk. bread, bread, breadcrumbs, milk men. I love me some Wonder Bread, bro. No. Wonder, no. Any what like the white fuck bread? The what is wrong? Dude, what the dude, fuck dude. is happening to this? We're, <laughs> no, that's the worst that, bread. Yeah. 
There's so many better ones. Yeah. Okay. If I if I if I had to choose a type of bread, it would be sourdough. Yeah, now we're talking. I there like sourdough. Go. There you any, go. Any any sandwich that is made on sourdough Have bread. You do a do a, a hot ham and cheese on a sourdough is pretty fire. Grilled when cheese I was and bacon. real fat, you want to you ready? When I was real fat and we were doing like real fat people shit, my wife would make chicken Alfredo sourdough grilled cheeses. Yeah. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm Your mouth are watering. We're going to go home and try this one I'm covering my mouth right now. It's and it's exactly what you think it is. You make chicken Alfredo, and then you put it on set buttered sourdough loaf, you know, slices, and then you put cheese on top of that, and then you fry both sides. Unless you have a panini press. And then you I'm so cheese. happy right now. Any Anytime that, like, I have to get a sandwich, like, because, like, my house usually only buys Wonder Bread or, like, some sort of white bread. Sure. It's like... No, Sunbeam is what Waffle House uses. Sunbeam is good. Sunbeam, oh, oh, real sunbeam. soft. Anything yeah. like do butter bread? Like but, the bu- there you go. Yeah, the, See, the bread that already you know has butter things, on it. That's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I've redeemed good. myself. Thank you. I've redeemed myself. Thank you. What but, the uh, fuck are you doing? Oh. You're on death row. What the fuck? Oh yes. <laughs> the All right. Go ahead. Or do you want me? To- mine's mine's very simple. It's just go steak, ahead. steak, steak, steak and eggs. It's the perfect meal, dude. I love me some steak and eggs, man. It's the best meal for for breakfast, protein, dude. Baby, that's all it is. I'm gonna I'm gonna, gonna let you go because I got I gotta think about this for a second. I gotta think about this. Okay, now I actually have to think about it because okay. there's like more. So I'm just gonna start word vomiting and hopefully something will make sense. Did one time somebody request a baby? Yeah, yeah dude. So. Yeah, some kid who liked to eat kids. Yeah. And they were like, "Yeah, we're not gonna feed you." <laughs> you're just gonna die hungry. That's the rest okay. of the kid. I mean, you're gonna be dead soon. What is the point? I don't. Yeah. The final meal is strange. So I would. Mm. Mm. Not even in Arkansas, dude. Oh, no, that's. Do I get okay? Well, here's the thing. Do I get like a three course meal, or is it just everything all at once? Want. If yeah. it's dream death experience, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. No, just the last meal. <clears throat> just the last dinner. The true. Like, I guess you could supper. get like a little bit of everything. You could be like a bacon and a hamburger. Yeah, and, and then like a, a bowl steak. of ice cream. And and so I would, I would go for because I'm a huge fried chicken buff, and so like there you go, Gus's fried chicken. Like, I, I don't like bone in. I've never liked bone in for yeah, some reason. Either. Like strips. That's that's usually what I go for. I'm a strips boy. Good man. But um, the appetite of a six year old. Okay. Oh, Hell yeah. <laughs> Damn right. It, it has more flavor, but it's just like it's a mess to eat. Yeah. Exactly. I like to just be able to be like, oh, and what? Yeah, what if I bite the bone? I don't want to hurt my teeth. Well, that's that's just that's a weird. Just, uh, just a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're 16. You should know how to chew food. <laughs> He's just like, how do I? <laughs> <laughs> my teeth are gone. You don't bite it long ways. What are you doing? <laughs> But um, he just ate strips. that that fucking that fucking leg ass first. Just <laughs> have, you, have you ever had Chicken Express? Yes. yes. Chicken Express, good. So Gus's Gus's like strips. Is solid. I would want sauces from. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> We're all judging you, Freddie. <laughs> Zaxby's. Okay. Ooh. Sauce. The sauce. Not my favorite. Canes, obviously. Canes, sure. Um, God I do tier. like I do like slim sauce. It's it's very rarely that I'll have it, but like some sauces, it's good. Yeah. Never, I don't think I've ever had that one. Um, and then it has to be like homemade ranch, right? Yeah, you don't want none of that. Other no, ranch. I fucking hate Hidden Valley, dude. I hate the smell of ranch. Yeah. I wasn't done. Dang, Man. damn. Well, he's getting real specific, Kurt. You you might have messed up. He's like, you, I need the you breading fucked to, up. He's dude. like, I need the breading to be seasoned X Y Z. Yes, I mean, yes. Yeah. They, they would be like, <laughs> never mind, dude. If I if I had to be executed, it'd be death by firing squad. Oh, I'd request firing yeah, squad. Dude. Absolutely. Shot on sight. Shot on sight, dude. Um, Better aim for my head too, losers. Fries, specifically from this fucking bowling alley in Cabot. Oh yeah, that, dude. Like, yes, yes. Good. Yeah. From Cabot, Arkansas. Give listen, me those fries. Listen. There's a gas station in Albuquerque. Actually, fuck, <laughs> fuck Gus is for a second. Respectfully. Dude, there is a gas. No, shut up. There is a gas station in um, Judd. There is a gas station in Judd Sonia. It's a shell gas station. 
best damn fried chicken I've ever had. Listen, I've had a lot of great gas station chicken. There's it's one so good. out oh, by God. Lawson that is just old ass gas station. Been there forever. You getting really there, defensive about oh chicken for some reason. <laughs> While we're on the topic of food, what the hell happened to Quiznos? Oh well, that's easy. It's it's not good. <laughs> so it, not so this it out? died. <laughs> What the hell? I don't know. It was probably over over saturated market. Like if you talk about like big business stuff, it's like there was too many of them, yeah. too much competition. Subway, Subway won Firehouse, everything for the longest time. And yeah, and and for as far I as love. like cooked subs go, Firehouse was better. I think Firehouse pound is amazing. For pound. So it's like Jersey Mike's. They're even. across from each other. Why would you go here when you can go here? Mm -hmm. You know, and it's the same price. I loved Quiznos when I was a little kid. It was all right. And it was less sandwich. They had smaller sandwiches. So in a, oh, yeah, yeah. in our minds, it's like five bucks for they this big bag, like, yeah, or the mm -hmm. little baguette sandwich they were cooking off. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, fried chicken from this Shell Jesus. gas station in Judd. Shell Judd, Judd Shell. Sonia. So Conway French fries. Cabot. Cabot, Cabot, yeah, Cabot French Cabot. fries. Alley French fries. The ranch there is actually pretty far <laughs> yes. too. So that's probably where I'd get the ranch from. And the ranch, Judd Sonia chicken. Mm -hmm. And then sauces from like every chicken chain on the man. Okay, wow. And then I'd probably like this is unreal. This is Waffle House, like the All Star breakfast. I think this is just a look into his mind more than it is what is like. Dude, nobody. my the, everything the whole, is the whole, the whole grit, grits or hash browns. Hash browns, Thank God. smothered. Okay. okay, you want anything in the waffle? Mm. Is anything coming in the waffle? Syrup or butter? Always butter. Okay, same. Um. Probably chocolate chips, honestly. Chocolate chip in the waffle. I mean, What's I think it's meal. Yeah. yeah. If you said waffle and you didn't automatically put chocolate chips in it, then what is the fuck is the point of eating a waffle? Um, because it's delicious and I you mean, can put a chicken. Agreed. Agreed. My hack, it really my depends where their, you get the waffle from. My hack for their for waffle houses, they make an unreal chicken biscuit. I get the chicken biscuit and then I turn the bacon and eggs into the biscuit with the biscuit bits, and then I take the chicken <sighs> patty and I fold up the waffle and I make it a. Chicken I know where we're going to eat biscuit. after this. Huh? Yeah. You're going to Waffle House, I think. Kurt, no, I couldn't. We're going to Cabot. Don't steal that kid's phone. Kurt, tell me you got it can locked I have my up. Phone back? I don't know. We're, we're going to Cabot and we're getting fries from the. There you go. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna get your last meal today. Yeah. Shit. He's, no, no, don't <laughs> say that. Knock on wood. <laughs> Kurt, leave that kid's phone alone. Hold on. Guess who one yours? What? Give him your phone. Ah, yes. What the hell? What? All right. All right. That's the I last I have Your three... last meal is wild. <laughs> you. I'm basic. Okay, so here we go. For breakfast, I'm doing chicken and waffles. Are no, you? No, your last meal. What? Oh, just last meal? Okay. Yeah, not the last I'm doing a bowl of mashed potatoes. I like it. With garlic Respect. in it. Respect. Yes. And then buffalo, chicken, mac and cheese. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. And then I'm getting a whole firehouse hook and ladder sub. Jesus Christ. And then. And then. And then I'm probably going to do like a gonna, gallon of sweet tea. Okay. I'm not even lying. You are going to die with the fullest belly of all time. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm going like, to be so happy. A simple meal of steak and eggs, protein. I'll feel, I'll feel nice and satiated. Y'all are like, I want to die before I get to death. <laughs> listen, listen. Death if I'm, I'm going to die, I want to make damn sure that I enjoyed my last, like, an hour of oh, living. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. For sure. I'd also probably request to watch, like, all the Lord of the Rings movies. Yeah. That would be... So, did you see they're re-releasing them in 4 Somebody did that with Star Wars. They did. I thought it what? was. It Star Wars? I thought it was Star Wars. Wars. I think it's been both, actually. But yeah, I'd, I'd request that. Yeah, hmm. it's fair. I don't know. I don't know. If a, maybe Back to the Future, if I had a Oi. movie to pick, last movie to see. Solid Ooh. trilogy. One of the best. Honestly, I think Lord of the Rings is probably my favorite trilogy. You're young. That makes sense. I don't watch movies. I what? I don't watch movies at all. John Wick is my favorite trilogy. We're losing what's a four trilogy now. I haven't seen the fourth one. I haven't either. either. I haven't seen the third one. Hot actually, take, I haven't seen John Wick. I've seen the first uh, two. All right, fucking wrap this up. <laughs> Get these. No, I've seen the first one, but I haven't seen anything else other than that. The, how could you not want to see more after that first one? Yeah, the if first you one was awesome. Like John I Wick. haven't gotten around to okay. it, dude. I've been busy they recently. Dog. I know. I We're about to have fucking a assholes. <laughs> Man, so, so, 
Snow movies, man. That's what, I mean, it, it makes sense. It really does. Like kids, they just we're always interested in like how y'all's minds think because it's like, where's it all going? And it's like, well, clearly that's going away. I don't Down have the, the attention <laughs> span to watch movies. Like I cannot sit down. Oh, right. and Like focus on something. Yeah. Right? No, I blame people my age for that. We and invented then, all. If this it's shit a movie I've seen, I cannot sit and watch it without being on my phone. Yeah. Damn. Like even still, like I can't just sit down. Like that's why I do more music. Like if you sit down do, and watch sit like down. Fallout, the new Fall. Let's take Fallout because it's brand new. That new series was awesome. It was I've awesome. Seen it. But how many times did you be like, I need to know what other I, people are doing? Yeah. Like, I didn't actually. If it's anything that I'm watching for the first time, I will sit down and be intense. So you're as good hell. first time watcher. Anytime, like second or third time, is where I get to like. All right, I already know the plot, and then eventually it's just background noise. Background noise. Yeah, I feel that. I. I have to have something like in the See, background. I'm just for me. Come from the old school. You just watch stuff, something to enjoy it, even if you've seen it a hundred yeah. times. Well, no, and I'll like you know take ten or fifteen minutes like here and there, and like you know catch up. I on I will what's say going like on. yeah, going to the bathroom's easier when you've seen it ten times. You're just like ah, just go. I know what's gonna happen, so, dude. I'm a theater like I I will drink that whole drink and I'll be like <laughs> <laughs> just having a piece so. <laughs> I got no idea. Dude, I don't want to miss a single thing. I don't holding it in it. is the hardest thing during a movie. It gets worse the older I get too. It's just like, and now that I have to go to the bathroom four hundred times a day, it's just like impossible. <laughs> my my now my new trick is like if I know I'm gonna be somewhere where I don't want to get up, I won't drink anything for like three hours. Yeah. Are they out of focus. Hey guys. Did I did I put my hand in front of it? No. We fix it right at the end here. Oh. Um. Well, but yeah. promote your stuff. Okay, that's a good place to wrap it up. Follow us on Instagram, Spotify. Uh, Spotify. Listen to Taking Shape. It's coming out May fifteenth. Eighteenth. Eighteenth. What's your? Oh yeah, it's at Through Blood Band on okay. Instagram. It's actually at Through Blood Five Hundred One. I made it. How? Do I made that. Are you joking? Yeah. I love this so much. Anyway. <laughs> <It's dynamic. laughs> um, Buy a, buy a ticket to one of our shows. So is it 501 or band? It's 501. It's Through Blood 501. Okay. 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 Yeah. So Through Blood 501 <laughs> on Insta. Oh my God. Through Blood 501 on Insta. Through Blood on Spotify. Um, we no got, Facebook. We're out of there. No, we have people. Facebook. Yeah, okay. Just it's through it's just Through Blood on Facebook. Same. Okay. Um, and then. Are you tweeting or TikToking? Nope. We don't have TikTok. Good on you. Um, we got we got three shows coming up May twenty third, twenty fourth, and twenty fifth. Go buy tickets to one of those or show up and have a good time. Also, Fuck. we're getting shirts made soon. Hey, we got, got merch. Some. We got merch. We've got we've got stickers. We're getting CDs made, and then finally we, say there's merch in the back. Yeah, yeah. It's we, a good feeling. Yeah, uh, we stickers, CDs, shirts. Um, then obviously you know money from getting merch like helps us make more cool stuff, and we right. got cooler stuff than. And play what more shows doing. and go out of town more and all, yeah, this, um, all, those, all those things money leads to. We got a yeah. uh, show June 14th with Zash and A Kiss Before Dying. Go see that. Um, it's it's going to be a good time. We're, we're really excited for um, this Sounds year. Sounds like you're revving up for a pretty cool, cool summer. Through Blood Takeover is through what blood. we've been calling through it. Summer, in our, or yeah, through, through Blood Summer. Through Blood Summer. That's, yeah. that's good. One show, call it a takeover. Hell yeah, we had, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first Lucidium show. Takeover. It was called the Takeover. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Or something like that, or like the Invasion. I think. Yeah, it was a Takeover. Was well, it? you know, you're feeling proud about yourself. Yeah, we're happy. So we're as a cover band, yeah. <laughs> for you motherfuckers. Yeah. Um, you will mosh to me. But uh, go go check out all the cool Cersei bands, Zash and go. Current Solace, Solace, and then, um, yeah, it's it, it's gonna be a good time. We're we've been putting a lot of work in recently, and um, I'm oh, I'm yeah. I'm really proud. I know both of us are of. You know how far we've come since we dropped like the like the full announcement in uh, January. Oh yeah. So, well, we're proud of you too. Thank you. Y'all doing a good job. Keep thank up you. the good work. Thank you. Um, all right, everybody. Uh, Crashcast Pod Twitter. Crashcast Pod One. Nice. I forget my own shit. Uh, Patreon. Yeah. We just uploaded last week's episode today, so you get it early. And there's always uh, bonus content we've been working on. Maybe some vlogs coming up. Or did you just do a transition? God. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt. Nice. Uh, all right, everybody. Thank you guys for coming. This has been a blast. And thank you for having thank us. Thank you all for watching. Thanks for having us. Thank you for listening. Peace. This there's a song playing. Act like it. Oh <laughs> shit. Alright. <laughs> Start moshing in the room. No. We were not it.
We weren't at a two step. Yeah, Bri- yeah, we forgot that. Oh, Bryce told you us how to do that. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Is it still are going? We still going? Yeah, is it? I will add all of this if we are. Yeah. We learned how to mosh from Bryce Burrow last yeah, night. Yeah, he taught us how to mosh in the music store. I love it. So that. there was like fucking guitars and violin shit on the wall. And Spin like, kicks, kick like throwing dog, hands, yeah. two steps, and we were all afraid about hitting guitars. Oh, yeah. Well, all right. Awesome. Peace. Hell yeah. <laughs>